Welcome to Past 2 AM with Quackalope. Today we're bringing you the first ever gameplay of Andromeda's Edge from Cardboard Alchemy. In some ways, the sequel to Dwellings of Eldervale, which people cannot get their hands on right now, my, myself included. I actually had to borrow one from a friend just so we could do another video, which is a direct comparison between the two. This is coming from the designer Luke Laurie, and man, is it going to be magnificent. Now, please keep in mind, this is a pre-production, pre-production. This is everything when it comes to mechanics and nothing when it comes to spit shine. So what you're seeing here is to let you see how the game functions and flows and the inner workings of what Cardboard Alchemy is trying to achieve. But if you want to see a good example of what the game will actually become, well, use Flamecraft or Mission Catastrophe or Dwellings of Eldervale for reference. The exciting thing about Andromeda's Edge is it's this middle kind of hybrid game. There's so much happening here that a lot of people can sink their teeth into. You've got worker placement, you've got Euro elements, you've got some combat mechanics that might be a little closer to like an Ameri style play system. You've got engine building and tableau progression, you've got asymmetric player powers, you've got, in my opinion, sort of an open and thematic world to explore with the artwork and the immersion of the event cards that happen throughout the course of play. If you love Dwellings, this is going to be one you absolutely have to keep your eye on. And if you thought Dwellings was good, but you were looking for a twist on that genre, pay attention to the mechanics here, because they're reworking and playing with some of those systems to give you a deeper building, to give you a deeper tableau, to give you more progression, to give you interesting ways to interact with the map and the galaxy. There's a lot going on that I'm excited about. Peter Vaughn, I'm going to crush you at this game. Oh, wow. That's how we're starting. That's no. the intro to the All entire right. video. Just the confident okay. crushing Love it. of the, the publisher even I don't of this feel title. that confident. Bring it on. Let's do this. So you've played, what, 17 times? At least? Uh, 17,000. Yeah. 17, 17, 17, 17, Hi, I'm Peter Vaughn. I am one of the co-publishers of Cardboard Alchemy, and we are making Andromeda's Edge. Andromeda's Edge is a one to five player worker placement game where you're set at the edge of the Andromeda galaxy, chased, trying to build a new civilization. It's got worker placement, engine building, and area control. Oh, it's a variable player powers. I love those. I am playing the Nebulon Cloud People. Now that is one of my favorite factions that we're developing because I want to make sure that we have fun themes going on here. You can play space dragons, you can play fungi, you can play all sorts of creatures. And the Nebulon Cloud People want to skim really close to the, to the nebula and scrape that ice. That's what their whole civilization is built on. And they want to discover all the scientific things that they can find out. That's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna try and drive right into the nebula and stay there for all of those discoveries. So. You don't even know how to play as the nebula and cloud people. And I'm over here with the Dark Star Acolytes and all I have to do is make sure I don't have ships. Mm -hmm. I get to wreck your world. Watch out for two little ships. That, that'll that hurt you. So you no wanna... ships. I'm actually burning my ships to the ground <laughs> as we speak. Watch out. I'm entering this game with the Dark Star Acolytes, which have a very unique power. I want no ships? Some ships? Small ships? Hey, listen, I want a sleek and purposeful fleet of ships, because if I have none left over here, I, I can actually launch a ghost ship, ship of sorts and take advantage of a unoccupied space. It, it sounds cool. Am I going to pull it off? Well, yeah, of course. Devin now, what is the, the Zodian warmongers, and I'm the Arcanoid. I like rights. pew 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 pew. Shoot them up, pow pow. Hello, I'm Devin from Devin Talks Tabletop, and I am the Zodian warmongers. Typically, when I play a game like this, I try to find a nice combination of offense, strategy, engine building. I'm not trying to go down one route entirely, but it's hard to do that if you're the warmongers. So I think I'm going to go full tilt attack on everybody and just see what happens. Hi, I'm Shira from Quackalope, and I'm all about strategy. I am playing as the Arcanoan Shipwrights. I am going to be trying to get as many of my ships, preferably all of my ships, out onto the board as soon as I can. I am going to be the mastermind of putting ships out there and I'm gonna bombard the board, which will also allow me to build then all these other buildings, and then if I get all of my ships built, I get seven points at the end of the game. Devin. Yeah. Drunk tabletop, uh, you're <laughs> That was good. The first player. I didn't expect him to come Take up with something turn. that good. You want to go ahead? 
Yeah, I'll go ahead and go ahead. Hmm. Are you talking about what you're doing, or are you just going to hum? I am going to take one of my transport ships. I'm going to, because I haven't got anything on the board, I'm going to pick anywhere. And then mm -hmm. after that, I'll have to be adjacent to the range of where okay, I start you've got out. Planets, you've got alliance bases. I'm going to go right here to the Maximus field. So okay. I'm not going to go to a planet. I'm going to go to a base. And that is actually going to bump the event deck That's time right. track. Yep. On the table, you've got the main board, which is essentially Andromeda at large. It's got floating space debris from a precursor civilization. This is the edge. It's all these nebula that are dangerous to go into, and extra galactic raiders are coming out of it. Finally, you've got planets and rough outposts named Alliance bases. That's where you're going to be landing your ships. You've got your space stations that you're going to be customizing with all of your workers, which are spaceships. You've got your resources, your upgrades, a score track with a bunch of stuff on it, and you've got your developments here ready to be built in Andromeda. And then I'm going to pay some resources, which I think in my head I did right. You can buy from the, you green, can buy from, the yeah. science tracks and the industry tracks where you're at. I did in my head do right. Yay, okay. I used my brain hole good. And what I'm going buying? to pay this one Lorcan strike is going to be waiting for you when you're done with your decisions, by the way. Yeah, I know. That, I can roll You know what? It. That one just never seemed now, like one I wanted to hang out those, with, though. Those standees are going to be acrylic standees in the base game, we believe, and uh, some minis if you want to take those up a notch. Andromeda's Edge is headed to the GameFound Galaxy in January of 2023. We're really excited to bring it to you. The core of what you want to pay attention to this game is the mechanisms, is the engine building. What we're going to present is a really solid worker placement game. You're going to see the fun gameplay in this prototype. What you don't need to worry about are symbols, uh, buildings, anything, everything is temp. It's only going to get better. The box is temp. The boards are temp. We don't believe in hiding a game before it's out. We believe in showing it. We believe in communicating. Our last two Kickstarters, which are Mission Catastrophe and Flamecraft, are huge for community. That's what we really believe in. We want to share this game. We actually already have it on TTS as well, but you'll get a really good sense of this game with this playtest. We're really excited for the first look over here at Quack Below. I'm going to take with this cyborg assembly, which is actually going to bump me up to seven, which is going to allow me to get a Did ship pay, upgrade for free. You paid two of these? I paid one of those and uh, it's two titanium. It's two that. titanium. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you used your brain for that? I was looking at that, and I Kay. paid the other thing. So now I'm going to take the cyborg get... assembly. It's going to start off damaged. Sure. Yes, you bought a damage module, but you can fix that. I'll that. fix that. What? Oh, you guys are making us do our engines into each other? Yes. <laughs> no. Really? That's how Jesse set this up. Jesse Anderson, <laughs> if why? If they connect, you could run the entire <laughs> space station. Oh why? My gosh, why did you do epic. this to and us, we were Jesse? Playing, we were playing a Gen Con, and we had two games out, and and we got the idea of doing a wormhole where you can travel from one game to another game. We want to make those That's rules. Insane. That's pretty cool. Um, so you can buy a copy, your friend can buy a copy, and you can get that game. And so that ship upgrade is going to allow me to bring in my fighter, my faction's death claw. Now, when you choose an upgrade, which is delightful, game, you're changing the rules of one of your core four worker ships. You can choose a, a type of upgrade that only your faction can build, or one of the four public upgrades. So you can look to upgrade your science vessel or your transports. But in this case, the warmongers went for the Death Claw. That is their ship. Mm -hmm. You gotta watch out now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have fun with you, you don't guys. Have it yet. I'm gonna also well, actually play. wait. When you go for an upgrade, if you have not built that ship, you automatically get that ship. Death Cloud. Mm -hmm. Took it. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's very mm -hmm. excited about it. What's your? Are excited. you buying from any other? I'm also gonna play this Lunar Eclipse card, which is going to allow me to take a Moon token from anywhere. It's gonna also bump the event. I did. Got Thank it. you so much, sir. It's like there's he's some, played this there's before. There's good moons out there. I kind of like that one. Okay. You can store up to four of those on four claims to moons on your space station. Now what you've got in Andromeda is you've got planets and alliance bases. As we go into this map, we are going to be landing on these with our workers, our starships, and we're going to be taking actions on planets, which generally are uh, claiming a moon, or we're going to go to an alliance base and we're going to do the action of that base. But as we take more and more events, we're going to trigger events. Events are going to bring up new 
raiders, which are going to try and hunt us down, and also bring out new regions of Andromeda. In the final version of Andromeda, we're going to have lots of exciting things here. Wormholes and Nether Void and places where, that replace other hexes. Lots of fun. Uh, things are going to come up in, in Andromeda depending on which event deck you play. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And then I think I'm going to engage no, in... I, I'm going to also pull my leader. Did you buy a second? Did you buy... Are you buying are something you buying second? Because otherwise you got to scrap something. Yeah. That's fair. You guys have asked questions that I don't have the answer to. So now I'm going to scrap something. I'm going to scrap... You have to scrap it from the It area seems like you... Do I have to choose it from this no, one? Can I can science, choose it from both, right? Industry, yeah. It seems like you guys as a group would appreciate this, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay. So that's out. Okay. Bye! Nice. And oh, then so this okay. drops nice down. Yep. He's got it. Yeah. That drops down. And then I've taken my leader, we're gonna go into combat. Combat in Andromeda's Edge is inevitable. This is a limited resource galaxy, and we all want the same stuff. So what happens when we run into each other? One of the great things about what Luke Laurie has made here is that you get to take the action of the region you're going to. You are not blocked. But if you go to a re uh, region that has another player, you're going to invite combat. There are a couple steps to that. I'm not going to go into all of them right here, but it's intense. First, there's escalation, where other players can come in. I mean, we're talking about space here, so if I have the range, I can join that combat. There's diplomacy, which can actually end the fight or change the rules of the fight. And finally, there's battle prep. If all of that fails, if you're going into this fight, you can add weapons and play strategic cards to give you the edge. In the end, many may enter, only one will emerge each battle. But the winner gets supremacy and the losers actually still get to charge up and get a secret bonus called their tactical ops. There's a lot of fun elements of battle. You're never completely out of it because you pull your units back no matter what. They're just out for a minute, but they'll be back and, and ready. And nobody yeah. Else can, nobody else can join in, obviously. You're, you're alone in a drop. I've just got a dice. Someone's got to roll for the Vorticon Strikers, two dice. And you They're have a chance dice. to play diplomacy at this moment. Yeah, I'm it's going to actually, to at the play. end of the diplomacy phase, dice? draw three tactics cards. So can I have three tactics you cards, can please? Have three. Just to see if any tactic stuff comes into play. Hmm. Now, so no one can join in. You've passed the diplomacy phase. You're on to battle prep, so you can actually spend energy as weapons or play any other. Cards. I think I'll spend one just to have some fun with it and roll okay. two dice. Two dice. It's two on two. Vorticon strikers are are aiming to Don't take roll you six. out. That was the one thing I asked you <laughs> not to roll. Here we go. That was, work. That was the one thing I asked you not Order to roll. Order Strikers did. early hit on the Warmongers. Warmongers go to the scrapyard. Boom! And that's going to make that hard to use your space station, but you can fix that ship. And uh, you get your tactical operations bonus. That is a reward. You get pissed off and you're going <laughs> to prepare to get back in this. Usually it's just a tactics card, but you can plug in what you'd like to get when you lose. Um, he I'm going to go his amazing boom ahead. Oh, sorry. If right I have one there. more ships in the active regions during battle preparations, I should have actually gained two energy because of and my then lost battle one. rage. And then, and then lost, lost one. one. So it's... And he that sort one. of berserks up during a combat <laughs> and then loses that rage. I'm going to actually... Happens. I think this is thematically well, appropriate to... As diplomat, a free right? action on your turn, once per turn, you may discard one diplomacy card to draw two tactics cards, which I think I'll go ahead and get rid of the one that says battle ends, because I don't like the idea of battles ending. So, yeah, the Zodian Warmongers don't want to talk. They don't want to hail you. They just want to shoot. And that's, he's playing it. Do I discard at now the you, end of yes, my turn? you have a hand limit of five tactics cards. Do I discard at the at end? The or? End. Okay, so then... Um, yeah, my turn is super totally almost over. My strategy going into tonight's game is simply to do better than Peter Vaughn. If I can beat the developer, the publisher of this game at his own game, it doesn't really matter where I stack up against Jesse and Shira. I only need to beat Peter. Ooh, <laughs> I like that one. And I like that one. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of, uh... Oh wait, I can play this on my turn. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume command, 
and choose a raider and move it to any alliance base and perform the action for that base. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move... There are two Vorticon Strikers, either one. And there are a bunch of other alliance bases. There are so many, and they look delightfully inviting. So the question becomes, what do I want to spend? I think I'm going to spend... Want a ship? You want to go to... Mm -hmm. So we've got... I think I'm going to go here. Trade hub. Good way to and get alliance in. credits. Those Two. are going to be this wild. This resources and get wild. And get some coins. Currently we're using Dwellings of Elderville gold. That's good in space, right? It's super Pretty good, good in space. The portal opened up. A little gold fell out. Is that all you're doing? I think that's all I'm doing on my oh first my turn. God. I think that was an eventful first turn. That yeah. took forever. Well, Devin's turns always take forever. That did take forever. That is also true. <laughs> I think Cut I'm doing this. Kicked in Andromeda is what happened. I'm grabbing this. Moon. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a fabulous one. It's a free fix. The one underneath. Yeah, one nice. Even it's better. Free fix with the... It's a free fix. There's a lot of options when you get a there are. pair moon. You can actually use that in a couple ways for yeah. slotting that. And then uh, I believe that's the, the end of my in. turn. The raider comes in, which means... Fight? Fight. Now, uh, no one else can join. You have a chance to play a diplomacy card. We're not going to go over that every time, but just to get those rules out, you have a chance no to diplomacy do that card. phase. And now you can uh, prep for battle with weapons, or just roll that one die. Just one die. Someone's got to roll two dice for the raider. I will do that. I think Sheer and I have a great ability to hurt each other. Wow. Six. <laughs> I need you two to stop the sixes. <laughs> I'll take care but I'm going to roll a six oh! and a five. And absolutely, the raiders are hot. That's, that's, Crush that's your mean. soul. I'm you gonna do that. Scrap yard, you get your tactical ops at this yeah. juncture. Can I please? Oh, you this don't want to plug in your moon? That's where I'm deciding if I want to do that really fun Ooh, thing. Oh, titanium you and a free repair. I'm plugging in my moon, which means I can wow. repair my ship as soon as they die. And get a titanium. And get a titanium. That's it's delightful. Cool. That's great. That's one of the th fun things he said you can do with that moon. I do like that, uh, like outside of what Dwellings did with like getting swords, get that sword. you can you can upgrade what you get when you yes. lose battle. And that's really your fun. turn. You can even plug points into your loss, which yeah. I think is a yeah. really fun thing to do as well. Your turn. All it's right. also really inspiring that you assume that you're going to lose, so you gain victory points <laughs> off of losing. <laughs> Well, the cloud people have gas condensers, and if at the beginning of our turn we're near the nebula, we could get ice or energy. But we are not near the nebula yet, but that is where we want to go. We also have the ability to drift, which is to kind of position our ship, our ship into a good spot for the next turn. So I'm going to fly over here to the Odessa sector. That's going to tick up the event clock. I'm going to buy civilization and commerce modules. It's the beginning of the game, and I've got exactly what I want. I'm playing the Nebula and Cloud People, and I draw a tactics card that says that I'm going to be able to get my upgrade right away. All I have to do is damage my station. How bad can that be? Let's see if I can pull this off here. I've got some ice. That is what Civ modules take. And I noticed that first one. The Chamber of Song. I'd like to have a Chamber of Song in my space card station. Card for victory points. Right? I just need to get my hand on yeah. cards. That's going to cost me Hey, I, I will anything. give you and some cards if you points. share. I'll give you, you cards points? if you share. I'll take one for every two now you that, get. Every time you get a module, you bump up on the track. And uh, we'll come back to these these trade offers in a second. Devin, I'll did take you that. bumped up on your track. I did. Yeah. This right here, up in the nebula, the module fields, is kind of the heart of the game. Because if you've seen a game like Dwellings of Elderville that has tracks, these are the tracks you're trying to win. At, we've got civilization, commerce, supremacy, science, and industry. Now you want to be up on those tracks as high as possible. They're going to score during the game and they're going to score at the end of the game. In addition, they're going to enhance the way that your developments work in Andromeda. For example, if you're higher on supremacy, your obelisks are going to be better. In addition to that, each track enhances another type of your gameplay. You want tactics cards? Civilization is going to replenish your entire hand and increase your limit. You want your resources to be worth something at the end of the game? Commerce is where it's at. You get a vault bonus and if you get high enough in commerce. Science, you make crazy discoveries. You're the one who gets to see them all and leave the crap for everybody else. Industry, 
you customize your ships every game. And Supremacy, well, that's how you get some serious points on the way. Now, I can't get a second one, and that's a bummer. Um, don't have a credit. Be better. Be better for the player. <laughs> and that means I'm going to have to take that one module and call it good. So I have to burn another module. I don't want anyone to have that bottom one for commerce that gets you science modules. Nobody could have it. You're too kind. Burn that up. To fall down, nothing is going to come at me because I'm not near any of that. But I am going to drift at this time. I spend an energy and I'm going to move my ship stealthily right here. Now that cannot come in because they have not detected me. Is, that, is Drift an ability that your faction has? At the end of your turn, you pay an energy to move one of your ships to an adjacent region. It's not a launch. So cool. You don't get to take anything. That's, but you that just, you like can you reposition across the map. That's, That's why so he likes cool. this faction the best. <clears throat> Jesse, have you thought about your first turn? Not really. I haven't I haven't really prepped that much, Shira, and okay. I appreciate you asking. And, Maybe uh, take your first turn. What I've seen from the gameplays that have happened off camera so far is that establishing early buildings, getting your position on the map, and then starting to build a tableau that is really purposefully done is a major part of this. I, I mean, you can get an engine up and running where all you really need is one or two ships that you're sending out and then recalling. There's an ebb and flow to the game, and as long as you have the energy and the resources to trigger the system that you're building, you can take advantage of almost any play style. I think Shira and Devon are actually going to mess up by, by trying to have too big of a presence and too slow of a turnaround time. My faction might actually play really well into the way that I want to approach Andromeda's Edge because it'll allow me to be precise. And if it's a race to 50 points, precision is going to be key. First turn. <laughs> When you're coming out fresh, you need to go somewhere unoccupied. That's now, your first unlike turn. everyone else, this is my first swing Absolutely. into the game. And I'm going to help you yeah. crush them, but perfect. almost crush me, but not quite. Great, perfect. That's, that sounds that So sounds coming out into Andromeda, anytime you're doing a first placement, you're going unoccupied. So first of all, that's out, that's yeah. out, that's out. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot to, to do. So, so much. I think I'm going to pop in here. That's a great move. Is it? A point in a titanium, Actually, yeah. Yeah, because that's, that's what I was going for. Yeah. Cool. So I'm collecting that's that moon. Good, though. Uh, and then what else happens in this you can play When you go to a planet, that's it. These are quick turns. You just grab a moon and you're done. Yeah. You can play a card if you'd you like. Can Except play... Devin did like a dozen things yeah. and that made me feel like I should try to do a dozen things. No, you Don't want fast turns. Do I want fast turns? I do a lot of things really quickly back, and then I just, I, can't, I can't finish. You're fine. The planet turns are the quick ones. He went to an Alliance base. He yes. had a couple things to do. All right. Now, granted, there's always options in these cards, and some of them will. All right. I'll let that. I'll let that be my turn. Devin, your turn. I think it would be great for me to be diplomatic, and die, Peter. Um, <laughs> now, so I just said you have to go somewhere unoccupied when you're not in Andromeda. But, but I fighters, have fighters, break that rule. Yes. yes. Now, why are you coming at me like that? Because I had one mission, which was to not lose to you. I can lose to them, I just can't lose to you, so. <laughs> wow. Devin's going after Peter? I mean, th they can hang out in last place if they want. I will the personally make my game plan to destroy Doesn't your that... game plan. And he they'll come, come in? into the party now, as well. Wait, before you get too excited uh, here, you get to take the action of the planet first. Yeah, so you I'm going to take that. You get a moon. Great. Lucky you. Yeah. Congratulations. Yay. And then, of course, the raiders do come in. Yep. And yeah. And we're having a battle. Yeah. Now, in Escalation, you don't have any more ships. I don't have any more ships. Yeah. Well, Jesse's too far away to mm -hmm. get in. Cheer is in the scrap. Yeah. Part. So it's just Thanks. us. Just us. Now, we move into the diplomacy phase. Before you, you are so excited you to roll started dice. it. I do. And so you get to choose diplomacy first. I would like to longer. diplomatically kick your ass. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Does sound very diplomatic. Have you filed the correct paperwork? <laughs> I am not going to play. A, a I have a diplomacy. Oh, program, I also do during the battle preparations. We get two energy. Well, if we move to that phase, because my diplomacy card could end it. Oh, okay. No, we'll go ahead and end it. I'm not going to play one. Let's go into battle. Fight! fight I'm going to take fight, two. Fight, this fight. is going to roll for the raider. I'm rolling one die for my. Devin's rolling two dice. Now I could spend energy, but I'm I'm kind of out right now. Mm -hmm. So this is my chance. Come on, six one ship from you. could do it. Oh, oh five, 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 five. I got the raider covered. Three high, 
And oh! I, get to re- I get to re-roll I get to re-roll the one though. You do, you have targeting. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you suck, Peter. <laughs> It's gone from bad to worse. The Zodian warmongers came after me, and I just don't have the ships to get what I needed done. Now I've got this idea with my new cloud transports to go into the nebula and get these awesome moons. If I can only get those working and get my get back to my station, I'll be able to take this with a decent engine. How targeting works. I actually think this is a really cool part of the game. If you have if you have the ability uh, to roll multiple multiple dice, if you have multiple ships there or anything like that, you'll re-roll lower than whatever the total number of dice you're rolling. So if you roll two dice, you could re-roll your ones. Mm-hmm. I your think targeting that's cool value, you can always re-roll below. Or in which case of Devin, his it allows you to Power batch up your ships. Do I get any benefit from killing the raider in that die rolling? What was that? Do I get any benefit from killing the raider? So you do. When you ever you win a battle, you go up supremacy first. Is okay. So I, I knew I was going to go up that, then which gets me get one of those token. three, yep. all three of those. Nice. In addition, if you you're can, ever you don't have to take it now, you can save it for later. I, this one I don't think I can. But you can save it. You can save it for whenever oh. you need it. And it doesn't count towards the no, moons. No, it's not mm-hmm. a moon. In addition, I asked that raider, question for the viewers. When there's a raider involved, you also get any benefit that that raider card provides. And for the Vorticon Strikers, they give you a tactics card as well. Sweet. Uh, I don't know why they're carrying tactics cards, but um, th- we're thinking of them as like they're, they're wormhole jumpers. They're going to come in several times during this game and kind of try to cause a little havoc. But they're weak, so you can take them down. Okay, um, I'm going to just to where I don't have to lose any cards. I'm gonna play Xenofuel, which bumps the event down again. Almost, at an event. And keep this card in play until you return to station, which I've got at least two more ships over there. Your ships have plus one range, so now my transports, which normally can only move one, can move two away. Mm. Nice. So there we go, and I've bumped up. Now, I took that bonus. When anyone else goes there, they'll get just two victory points. Just two. Just two. Just two. Just highest two. on the supremacy. Sure. Track. So this event, if it's on supremacy, Devin will have a better. Going. Else, but... Come gonna... fight me, Shira. No. Uh, Shira, come field. fight me. I don't feel like it. I'm going right over there. I will fight you. Can I please have my leader? That is going to make sure an event happens. Yes. Now we forgot to pick up leaders. Anytime you're in a region and you have a leader, you can pick it up as a free action. We didn't forget. Well, yeah. I did. I didn't forget. Well, yeah, but but you have barely played this game, so I it makes sense it. why you would forget that. I also want to explain there's some leaders that have been trapped in the nebula. We may not find them, but if we get in that nebula, we can rescue them. I think Luke was saying it's kind of, it might be like Spock with a beard and Kirk with a beard. It's alternate universe stuff oh, in there. Oh, they're doing the same thing. I would like that um, from the industry, the second one that costs two titanium. Yeah. Yes, I would like that. What's the name of that one? It's a dynamic mechanism. Nice. I can slot a moon and in there. It gets when I slot it, it gets me two points. <laughs> <laughs> and C. Peace down. <laughs> and C. Wow. I'm sorry. I paid the cost. <laughs> Luckily, it's a prototype. Now, um, as soon as you get to the space, you're getting an upgrade. I am getting an upgrade. One of yours, or would you like to know what you have available to you? Can you tell me what the science vessel and the fighter? Science vessel is a deep space science vessel. It can have a range of three, okay. and it's got shields. Ooh. It can withstand the nebula. Now, okay. what else did you want to know? The fighter? The no science. The fight. Yeah, the fighter and the science vessel. The fighter is a storm scout, meaning it has the voyage ability. It can actually go into Stop. that dangerous nebula. But it's the same as what you currently have, just yeah. for the ability to get in there into some storms. I am. I. I. Th- oh, I think I'm gonna take that one with a shield, please. Yeah, the deep that is such a good ship. Oh man! Um, no, you don't three have movement those. shields. So that science this covers this science vessel. Yeah. It still has the voyage. Um, it's still got my two dice, but it has a shield now. And I am going to, because I don't have any equipped, get mine, right? Oh, is it supposed to have two dice as well? Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. is an amazing science vessel. Prototype. Yeah. Three movement, two sh- two dice, and a shield. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, base yeah, science well, vessel. prepared for deep space. Oh, yeah. It's way better. It's supposed to have this extra dice. It's got, oh. that's upgraded in three now, different ways. 
Keep in mind that all the base science vessels do also have two dice. This was a misprint on this particular. Board. Oh. Base science vessels are supposed to have two dice. Devin did stuff wrong when we played earlier. That's all right. We're we're working on it. Okay. I got that upgrade, and now I can buy something else. My problem is that what I want to buy is not the price that I want to buy it. Hey, if you're still watching at this point, I assume you're engaged and interested. So I'm just gonna give one quick shout out. There's a link at the top of this video description over to the GameFound page. Follow along there. It's gonna be launching in January, but up until then, they're going to be sharing so much stuff with you, the community. Opportunities for you to win cool prizes, get your voice heard in the development and creation of Andromeda's Edge, and of course, the opportunity for you to get your hands on the deluxified copy of this. Because it will be coming to retail, eventually, but not with all the shiny bobbins that you'll get from GameFound. Do I have to slot these in the order I purchased them? No. Okay. Can in fact, I you can rearrange things at any time. Sometimes if you're running your engine, you might want to put them in the order you want to run it. The only exception to that is if you've slotted a moon on an industry module, that locks it in. If I slotted a moon down here, it locks the moon in, right? It locks the moon in, but the moon not the moon in, I'm talking about if yeah. you take an industry module yep. and you put it here and you put a moon on it, yep. you cannot move that industry module around. But oh, otherwise, gotcha. you can shift the modules as you need. All right, and can I have that first industry module then? That's a titanium and an any resource or an cost. Any. Um, yeah, titanium, yeah, which I'm paying, and any I will pay ice crystal. Oops. Or push up the track cycles in as well. Yeah. Now I can't go any further. So um, gonna and then I moved up the track as well, and I believe that's the end of my turn. I so, bought my two things, I collected my leader, so I don't those have down at the any end of turn. cards I want to play. So these... these Space debris will flow towards the to the uh, end of the nebula here, and now we've hit our first event in the game. It is a lunar rush. This tells you what track we're going to score. We're going to score, uh oh, everybody, supremacy, where only one of us has a head start. That means Devin's going to score five. five points minus one for the damage he has. He does have a damage, so he's only going to get four points. One, two, three, four. The rest of us are only going to get three, three points. points. And we, none of us have damage, right? Nope. So one, two, three. So I'm in an astounding lead. One, two, three. And one, two, three. How did I get up there? You started. <laughs> because you went Based last. Off. You started Based last. You started at four points. I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> that's, that's, like, that's, just like, guys, whatever I'm so doing, far. it's working. A couple of key strategies in this game. One strategy in this game is going to be engine building. If you're not engine building, I'm not sure you're playing this game. So you have a space station and there's floating debris out there. You're going to want to attach that to your station and build quite a lot of cool modules. And you're going to want to run that engine as often as possible. Another strategy in this game is to develop. You're going to want to build giant obelisks, cities, factories, observatories, and spaceports. The faster you get those things built, the stronger your hold of Andromeda is going to be. An amazing way to play this game is with combat and tactics cards. You could fight your way in here. There are ways that you can actually do well if you lose battles. Tactics cards are almost all unique and are going to give you lots of fun ways to change the rules of the game. Now the next thing that happens is some Vorticon strikers have heard of the destruction of one of their ships and they're pissed off. Someone roll two dice because there's two more coming out. Yeah, yeah. One, one and, and three. three. Okay, there's so one of them. And, and three. And here's another one. Okay, the Vorticon strikers are out. In addition, a new region of Andromeda has been discovered. The person whose turn it is gets to decide where that goes. It must connect with at least one other region. What do we got? We've got one Ooh, of the a merchant commerce. planets. Put it. The, those are good for building spaceports. In that spaceports. area, wow. right where Jesse had his dice. Which area? The area that Jesse had his well, dice. Well, that's going to be for Jesse to build on then. Now, a special effect happens on every one of these events. This is the nice deck. Okay. Yeah, we'll so just play with the mean deck. Special effect says, in turn order, each player may claim one moon from a planetary region of their choice. Dope! So that, now that starts with Shira. And Two we're all going to go around. There. Dope. Two titanium there. Two oh. titanium mm. yeah, there. Two ice there. You're pointing me away from the things. I'm pointing you to things that have, have two resources. Yet. Can I please have that 
credit. Nope. nope credit that's and appointment. That's, 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 that's not a planetary yeah. region. It's a type of nebula. Thanks. Thanks. I want the ones in the nebula. The yeah, nebula ones the are better. The nebula ones are better. I love how you thought I was actively trying to make things worse for you. Oh, you. All right. It's either ice. It's either double ice crystals or double titanium. I mean, those are pretty good, right? Either of those. I'll take. I don't know which one I want to uncover. I'll take this double ice crystals. That's fine. To uncover that, and I'm gonna keep my moon up here. Double titanium for me. A bit. Ooh. What is that guy? A repair. And a lot of moon, that means if you slot it into a uh, output, then you're going to get a repair every time you use it. If you slot That's it into nice. an input, you'll damage something. Yeah. I'm going to take this double titanium. Okay, so we've all resolved I just keep thinking about that song. The event track is now back here at titanium. And now it's your turn, Peter. All right. I am not out in Andromeda because I was beaten up by a raider. No worries. No, it was Actually, me. no, I was beaten up by the Death Claw. I'm yeah. Gonna, yeah. What, so now I don't get to collect for my gas condensers. Happy to do it again. Um, no? If you want to He's come like, come, come hang out with me again. I'm sure Devin will find a way I to meet you. I cannot join where you are anyway. So no. Can, can we'll find a way. We'll find a way. Let's play one of these cards. I'm going to perform some hazardous modifications on my space station. Playing your turn, damage one of your modules. That's, a, that's not good. Ooh. But I'm doing it to gain a new ship upgrade. Okay. Ooh. So we're going to damage the treasury? No, we're going to damage the architect right here. Sorry, architects. We're going to get you back someday. And that's going to give me an upgrade. I'm going to go for the cloud scrapers, my custom ship. My transports now have the voyage ability. Oh. And with that, I will be launching into the nebula. I think this is a good start. A credit and a point is on this one. Now, <laughs> when you go into the nebula, you also get to peer into the future. Look into a mirror universe and decide what will be coming. I've got a voyage vessel. I didn't want and to do that. I believe I this will be the one that is coming. And the other one, perhaps never to be seen again, goes to the bottom of the deck. That's amazing. How do I go about building something? So my action's interesting. You see, I don't need a lot of ships on the board. I really want to focus on one of the things that can get you a lot of victory points early, and that's building bases. If you do it strategically, at the forefront of the game, you can score a ton of points, a maximum of 10, but it also removes one of the vessels that you have, making my engine theoretically work better. We'll see if I can pull it off. When that time build comes. Build a ship. When, no, no, no. Building a build ship. A development. A development. A development. When that okay. time comes. Get yourself a transport on a planet. Step mm -hmm. one. Yep. Step two. You know what a transport get is? Get the resources indicated to build something. Under like three like coin three here. coin and two okay. liters. Don't yeah. forget that extra liter. Step three. Get yourself to the development office. Yeah. Or come home Over to here. your architect. Okay. Build. That's what you gotta do. I hear. Quite a, quite a amount of steps. I hear. Yeah, there's yeah. like 12 steps to that. It's very... I think there were only three. Three it's times. Not, I didn't hear three, personally. <laughs> so... You could do it. I'm just saying, get it the going Dark Star three to nine. It's three to twelve. To quite I'll step. tell you why the Dark Star Acolytes want to build. They want to be as lean as possible on their armada. So getting rid of transports... You know, basically when yeah. you build a development, you lose how the do you, transport. How do you go about getting resources? Well, it's moons. very limited in the beginning. Mm -hmm. You're going to get them from moons, and then your engine needs yeah. to produce them. But, like, I, I have this for titanium here. How right. do I turn that into something that will give me a resource? Yeah, First of all, you can cash it at any time and oh, turn it into a titanium. I see. Or you can plug it in. I understand. And then it will produce okay. titanium. So let's, let's see if I get this right. I'm going to move here. Yeah. Taking this. Yep. Okay. I'm going to be cashing this in Okay. for one of these. Okay. I then am going to be playing a tactics card Ooh, this is interesting. called Play in Your Turn. Choose a Raider and move it to any Alliance base. Perform the action of that base. He's assuming command of a Vorticon Striker. I'm going to move like it you've here. You've gotten into their ship and taken over the control. To the development office. Yep. Wow. The development office is then going to allow me to construct. I have the three resources. You have three carbon. I have the one captain. Oh, well, this is pretty fast. This is amazing. That's you're going to build an observatory right now. I'm going to build an observatory. Okay, so you grab one of those observatories. Yeah. They, Temporary. It's gonna, 
Jeez. That's gonna get a lot of points. That's the front right there with the. It has a massive in the front. Okay. And then this little doohickle goes in here. Like is that actually on? No, it's yeah, not. It on. is. It is. Now yeah. they're a little tight right now because it's a non. Boom. There we go. That's probably. That. But you build the observatory oh, and its lens. Congratulations. Now you grab that observatory. Dev ability card, and we're gonna okay. follow those instructions first. Go up science because you that. just built an observatory. I did just build on a carbonous planet. Yeah, I'm good at this. Boom! Now that triggers another one of those. Okay. Next thing is to score leaders. Score all the leaders inside the observatory yeah. and on every region so nearby. So eight, nine, uh, right, so thirteen. Oh! Now, is it at a max? It's a max of ten. Max is at ten. I didn't even see that planet. You're getting a seventeen though. I'll do nice. that. Nice head start. Jesse just built a building that scored him 10 points. He surged ahead of us. I have to do something similar or I'm not gonna keep up. He's competition and I can't let him win. So I've been ramping up the first two turns, just trying to find a way to get all of my ships to go boom, boom. And then Jesse scored like 12 points and surged ahead of us. And I hate it when he does that and I don't think it's gonna go well for me. Now you have an ability. Okay. This ability to is to peek him. at the event cards uh -huh. just like I did in the Nebula. Yeah. At any time on your turn, put one on the top, put one on the bottom. Okay. And Except you have to when leave I the use one that, that I left on the top I'll on the top. I'll flip this when I use that. Yes. Okay. You flip it when you use the ability. Now each one of these buildings has a different ability. <laughs> okay. That's, that's pretty good. That's my turn. It's not, not a bad turn, right? First development of the you game. You saw what I was I asking the questions because I thought there was a pathway to it. I just hadn't clicked the pieces together. Usually yet. you can pull something off. Seven. When you have your, your turn. Set your mind to it. My so. turn. Yep. I think that as. This is where the part of the video where we cut in Jesse gloating about how he's got this mm -hmm. thing locked up. Yeah, yeah no, for sure. No, it's fine. The first development. Yep. That actually worked way better than I assumed. I was able to get a base established, scored myself 10 points. It would have been 14 if there weren't dumb rules in the game, which, you know, honestly, I think they should change before you get your hands on it. Not only that, but I've slimmed my support a little bit. I'm in a position now where triggering the ghost ship is something that I remember I can do, but I really don't need other players to consider it as an option. Jesse is playing the Dark Star Acolytes right now to, uh, in a great way. I told him at the beginning of the game to get that lean and play only just a couple ships, dot build an armada, and I'm watching it happen. He just built you know, an observatory, uh, and it and it worked. It got points, and he's advancing the clock real fast. That could give him the win here. So I think it only makes sense that as the Zodian warmongers with the Death Claw, that we say, hi, everyone, let's be friendly. <laughs> the Death Claw is going to be friendly? So we're going to go here. Well, this is not hunting me down. And that's going to that. bump the events. It is. We're heading to the And then I'm going to cash in all of these and that's gonna go all of them what do you cash to in everything he has all the moons all his, all moons. his moons to get Everything's resources four. multiple this is not advised you're gonna be out of resources <laughs> my friend save something uh, yeah. i'm not using all of them you're just cashing in the this these, is all you got. these are all the potatoes you all these. know yeah dude. he's all out of potatoes i know and then I'm going to buy two of these. He saw me do it once one, and he's two, like, ah, oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> and then two randoms. And the random, I think, is going to be ice. And I think I'll do an energy. What are you buying? He's buying over two here? ship parts, two of so, debris. That's okay. going to be. Usually all of those is going to get me this and this, which both look very nice. He's wow. paid he's five. I did. into industry here. One. Two. That actually advances the clock does. and gives you another ship upgrade. It does, doesn't it? it what are you going to go for next after the Death Claw? You just want a Death Claw. What are can you going to do now? Can I please see both the top science and the top um, battleship top over there? Top science is a proto-seeker. Yeah. Top battleship? Top yeah, 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 yeah. heavy cruiser? Yeah, the heavy called, cruiser that's called the battleship, yeah. yeah. Hmm. That turns your heavy cruiser into a pretty big fighter. If he does that and is running around just smashing us. Oof, Why are you smashing me? Why I love gained... this battleship. That sounds fun. Why didn't you smash I the one who gained 10 points? No, because I'm ignorant. 
No, it's just, I couldn't, he doesn't have a ship. I couldn't reach him yet. I will smash him, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. And promises, that's, promises. That's gonna build the big, Warmongers. that's gonna build the big ship there. Yeah, which has a range of one only, though. Oh, uh, but I, I get two energy. I get a net one energy every battle, yeah, which means I can just use to that jump. to jump. Okay, right so, here. So I, I go big boy attack all now, the you didn't time. take your... Energy for that yet, right? I have not taken my energy okay. for that yet. Yep, no. They weren't ready for battle. And then I think I'm gonna bring in this one. Now, yeah, the first person gonna bring in is you. And no then one else anyone can. Else, if anyone else is in range. Mm -hmm. No one else is in range. So it's mm -hmm. okay. It's back okay, to diplomacy, diplomacy. right? Devin. Devin's mm -hmm. first. <gasps> no, I'm good. No diplomacy. I'm not playing a diplomacy. Mm -hmm. Battle preparations, which is when you get your. Two energy. Spend energy as weapons or play other cards. When you're ready to roll. Two of those. Yep. Yeah. That was not a roll. I don't even know what it was. And so roll it's them dice. give me three dice. There we go. Three. three. That'll do. Yep. Took her out. Bye bye. Now, nope. You get your tactical fixed. ops. You, you're, you're always fixed. Yep. Yeah. She plugged in a repair plugged into in a her repair. tactical collapse. And That's crazy cool. So I'm not dealing with any of this nonsense. But I am going to go. Supremacy. <laughs> Which bumps That's that. Tick, tick that. This is, we're getting close to another event fast. Mm -hmm. I just People feel like... have control in this game of the event speed. You can play cards that move it faster. You can go up tracks that move it faster. Okay. You can slow down and And then stuff um, I think I'm done, right? That was a pretty good turn, yeah. All right. Alright, I, 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 I do need that. to respond with an armada. What are you ready to bring out? And then I think I'm gonna. Uh, even Wait, though I like cards? this one, I think I'm gonna. Let me know when you're done. Yeah. Not done yet. I think I'm gonna discard this to draw two. Oh my goodness. Two more cards. Because I just don't feel like that's gonna happen. Um. I'm going to play this on my turn to gain a point per damage module, which gets me a point up yeah, there. So I'm going to jump from five to six, and that. then I'm also going to perform a prefer action, which gets rid of that damage module. So that goes away. How do you repair it, the it same says card? Perform a repair action okay. on the same card, um, and then uh, before you pull that up, I have a question: Do I get to do that before you pull that up? Uh, yes. So I'd like to But do you that. have to leave this event. I have to what? You have to leave this event. It's in the name of dwellings. Right? It's in the name of dwellings? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to leave it. I left it, and that's not even a track that I want. Uh, hell yes! Yes, I want 100% oh, okay. want that at the top and that at the bottom. Okay. That's industry. <laughs> no. No, it helps me more than. I mean, he's helping. He, he, yeah, it helps oh, me more than. Oh, is it the might else. one? Yes, it's the might track. So, now we just play that at the end, right? Yeah, you're done. Right, yeah. Go. So but that's it not is... the one you're supposed to leave. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, now I gotta <laughs> find the other one. I'm gonna play it anyway. The other one would have brought out the Ion Storm, and I was just gonna say the Ion Storm is. We were gonna just play. That for the Ion Storm, you As, see? Yeah. It looks like the Ion Storm, but no. It does. It does. Devin ruined it. Sorry. Instead, Devin ruined it. all fun. It's the call of the obelisk, everybody. We're scoring some. Well, he was like, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> like, like I wanted this one. Okay, so now we're going to score supremacy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Of which Devin is at six. 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 Minus any damage? Minus nothing, because no. I got rid of it. So the I got rest two of us have three. Unmitigated a little. And we all have three. One, two, three. That seemed fun for everyone, right? What we are going to get instead no likes is the mortality sphere. Now, I don't know if you know what you've just done. But <laughs> I, I'm also going to play this that to just move this done. here. So there we go. Some might look at it and say that looks like somewhat of a, a deadly star, death star or some, some kind of thing. But it's called the mortality sphere. Uh, right now we don't have a mini for that. We'll have this, and it comes out on the... I believe it comes out on the trade hub. Let's see what we got here. And then you get to put out a new location. It comes out in the shipyard. So we're going to put this in the shipyard. Now the Mortality Sphere uh, rolls five dice, has two targeting, and has shields. Oh! Good luck with that thing. The big bad has come out. It's been called the Death Star. It's been called the Mortality Sphere. Well, I'm going to give it a fatal 
ball of damage. Fatal ball, mortality sphere, that works, it works. Well, at least Devin has something to focus on for a little bit. I think he's going to pin himself against this. You can't have a bigger ship in the galaxy, or a bigger bully in this case. Hopefully it takes a few turns for him to deal with mortality sphere, and maybe I'll be able to like continue playing this game while that goes on. Meanwhile, a new region comes out. A new place of Andromeda that? to explore. I think and we want that the obelisk. That is a radioactive there. planet. George. Pretty exciting times, though. Until the next event is revealed, <sighs> reduce the cost to develop planets by one resource. Oh, wow. We're in the Looks development like needs phase to shove that here. event deck quickly. Yeah. Are you done with your turn? Yes? Are you done? <laughs> I am done with my turn. Thank you. I'm going here. Grabbing this. I'm grabbing my two liters. Now, she flew into the nebula with a science vessel. There's one a the raider coming. I know there's there. a raider coming. I rolled two dice. I have one shield. Now... Oh. I'm playing this card. Shuffle the tactics discard pile while there's some dope cards in it, please, and yep. draw two. And then shuffle the remaining cards back into the tactics deck. For me. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? I want that one, and I want that one. Okay, we'll get this all mixed back up. Deja vu starts the discard pile again. Alright. Oh, some command should be in there. Now, let me fight that raider. So wait, uh, can anyone join? Actually, no, because to get in the nebula, Devin you doesn't have a voyage. Oh, yeah, I am a two. little too far away. Range of one, just mortality sphere is a little too slow. Mm. Can't get up there. That dopey thing has a range of. Can this thing join? No, it has a range of one. So no. Ready? Come on. Any, okay. any diplomacy? Any dice? Are you adding anything? Um, I roll two dice. Right. Um, I'm not gonna spend any for weapons. And if you get, if you lose, you don't get knocked to the scrapyard because you have the shields. So yes. Let's have some protection. One shield, just I'll get a damage. You'll get a damage. You won't be out. I lose the thing, but then I. Uh, it's one of the ways in this game you you can not lose no. your. But your when I lose a battle, when system. I lose a battle, oh, I trigger no, my I tactical operations. So so still get that. Yes. Of so I'll just t take off that damage. Sure. Okay. Your, your science vessels. Yeah. Okay. We rolling. A four and a three. No, nope, crushed him. Okay. Thank you. Articon Swagger's out. So primacy for you and a tactics card. One second, Thank I'll have you. those ready. There's a tactics card over there. I appreciate that. And that looks like it for you. Nice. Pretty good turn. Uh, um, continue to cruise across the... What's a... Um, oh... <laughs> Hang on. Modules are those, right? Yes. Modules, modules, modules. Something else you'd like to do. Yes, there are lots of things that I want to do. I am going to play on my turn, choose a module av available on the board, use its action, even if it's damaged, and then place it on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so you're going to use up one. That's going to take up the bed. Um... What do you want here? Now you can't use one that requires a plug-in of a moon. Mm -hmm. You cannot use an end game Victory module. points. Yeah. But there's some other good choices over there. Can I use this one? Yes, you may. To give any resource. Spend a resource to move up the industry track. Giving it energy. It's just, oh, it's just you moving. over here. Yeah, that is me. Yeah, right just there. Yeah, just moving up. But Move hey, up you and Devin are in a race here. Energy check. Let's track. race. Um, but that means I trigger an upgrade, correct? You do. What is the... You know what? I'm going to even just program this one. I'm programming my heavy cruiser, which means I get it. Mm -hmm. If I did this to that big bad, mm -hmm. does that give me the reward as well? No. This. It's not a battle victory. On the it's bottom. a cheap way of getting day. through the mortality sphere. Don't talk to me like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of the, it's not the Skywalker way to do it. <laughs> Alright. Um. Oh my gosh. That's it. Now it is your turn. Okay. I'm going to continue my quest floating through the nebula. That seems all I can do. You're coming to join me in the nebula? It's very nice of you. I'm sorry for this boon. And, uh, I believe that's my turn. 
Oh wait, no. I get to look at the next two events. Oh, did I get to look at the events when I was in the nebula? When you place in the nebula and you look at these two, and then I'm gonna, <laughs> then I'm gonna undo what you did. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? Well, okay, unless you pick the right one. Let's see. Okay, what do this I one want? goes on top. I don't even know what I want. That Jesse one goes on top. This tracks. is at the bottom. Okay, so let's see what she picked. No, I'm not <laughs> doing that one. Not, not at all. Forget that. Yeah, that this was one's a perfect way better. one, Devin. So this one. Well, I don't know what they're now talking about. Now at the bottom of the deck, me. Jesse, you'll I thank me for us. that. We're gonna. We just need to make Jesse a little. That was her turn completely. Uh, I've got one more ship, yeah. and I think you need think resources, I'm man. Gonna place you can't go all the way over there. Here, can't I? Because I have no, a station. Or no, it's right. only yeah, around this. Does not count for your range. Uh, well, Let that mortality sphere come it's after a you, bro. Or it's a it's a launch. Yeah, we're gonna go here. Oh, He's gonna go snap. Right at the mortality. Get this guy back, yeah. which is great. Now, at the shipyard, I can... Fix something or yeah. build a ship. Now, the building, the ship comes are right up here. I don't really want to do either of those things, though. Why do you, you go, uh, go there, then? Just to engage in a battle. Okay. Smart. Yeah. Okay, let's look at your ship options. You can build a transport for but just two of anything. My guy, I just don't want ships. Here's another thing. You could yeah. fix build whenever a you take a repair you action. You could do a titanium and a fighter. Yeah. Whenever you do a repair action and there is nothing to repair, you actually can get a point. So that's another way to go. Let's do that. I'll take a point. I know you're in the lead. Fighting. Fighting. Now a battle occurs. Well, but before you do that, first the person who instigated the fight can choose if they want to join. So are you oh, if I want to pull my other guy in on the planet that he wants to do it. That would increase your targeting to two. Because if you leave, you can't develop both there. A Zodian warmonger, Deathclaw ship, and the mortality sphere. Yeah. So I, why not increase those odds? I'm gonna stick there with my one. I'm gonna stick there with my one. Now. He's chosen. It goes back to you. Now, Devin, you, you can in? bring in your next ship. <laughs> now, it actually now moves to Shira, who could also fly How in. How much damage does it do? It's rolling five dice. No. One it just, it, one just, it would just one affect your shield. I'm going to go in because I have a shield. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. I cannot reach this fight, so the clouds oh, are okay. going to listen in for what's happening. So I'm rolling one die. So well, wait, we do diplomacy. diplomacy. Yep. So are you but doing yes, a diplomacy card? No, I don't. I don't have anything. Okay, you're not. No. I'm going to, which Each it's a trap. Damage is yours. Each opponent damages one of their ships. Damage is yours. Appreciate you. And damages this one. Yes, they all take a damage. I'm that playing a take diplomacy. Out of the mortality sphere, actually. That. Trap. How much more does he need to? Just die? one more. Just one more. What's this? Playing a diplomacy. Uh, diplomacy. The battle ends. Move one of your ships from the active region to Did any other region. Did you just try to save region. your ship? That's not cool. I wanted to kill that ship. Yeah, I didn't want that <laughs> ship killed. I appreciate wow. you. Wow, two diplomacy cards. One was a trap. The other one bargained for safe pass. This now Devin's still fighting here, though. Nope. No. Battle, battle ends. ends. Oh, this gets she just move. played battle ends. I'm going here. Okay. She Interesting. flew way out of there. Now, do I get anything? Do, can I load yes. something? Cause that... No, no it because wasn't you a... didn't lose a battle. It wasn't a battle. We were just sent to the scrapyard. Sorry, Dark Star. <laughs> He's like, oh, shucks, Star. But you started. know what? You don't want ships in this launch bay anyway, do you? I wanted to lose battle. Oh, well, <laughs> let me. That would be good for you. All right, so that was your turn. Yeah. And now we're moving. Oh, wait, I needed to. We, oh, we didn't even get to battle preparations. Right. No. no, you don't get those. She really messed you all up. You I damaged my fun. ship! Well, yeah, I did. You came into a battle. Imagine that. You came into a battle and we're like, we're going to be fighting. You're like, wait, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I didn't want <laughs> to fight. It was a bit erratic. Yeah, it was strange. Oh, I'm You could sorry. have chilled over there. Did I interrupt something? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, guys, wait. I have I have battle FOMO. Your turn. I don't actually want to fight. <laughs> battle FOMO. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, you do that and go call those all those buddies to you now. Okay. So I get uh, titanium. titanium. Whenever a set of moons is out, you get directly what the planet produces. Then that comes in for sure. You're bringing all your ships in. Wow, this is going to be a fight. Well, the beautiful thing is that now, based off of my ships, I have targeting six. Targeting caps at five. Okay, I have targeting five, which means... So you re-roll everything below five. 
Everything below five? Yep. Okay. And it has back targeting three? It is targeting three. The mortality okay. sphere will sphere will I'll roll for it. Honestly. So I have a full six. I think I've set myself up to not mess this up. I, I I should destroy any fight I go into. The only thing that I can root for right now is that other people's ships are going to the scrapyard, not mine. So when Devin takes on the mortality sphere, I'm rooting for the mortality sphere, of course. It looks like he's got an unstoppable force with that death club, but there's always anything that can happen in the rolls here. I am not spending six. anymore because you have all six. Mortality sphere is not going to negotiate, so it's ready. To oh, roll. you were you rolling for it? Oh, you're in the battle. <laughs> Or did you come in? <laughs> no, I've been there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was his. Hi. Was his that was his. What'd you roll? Shit. A three, two sixes, and you a three and a four and a two. So wait, so pull the sixes out and the four, and you get to re-roll the two. The, the two? two, not the three. Yeah, not the three. So you get to re-roll that one as well. To not and two. And re-roll it as well. And re-roll it as well. <laughs> More tellers here. Okay, there four. we go. So six, six, four, four is what I have to beat. Here we go. Lovely. Um, oh, I actually, I also get two energy. Here comes the warmongers. <laughs> so no goes, sixes. Da, 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 da. One so bigger. I get to re-roll everything but the five. Wow. Wow. <sighs> Here we go. So five. This would be amazing five. if he doesn't get any sixes re-rolling. I really would love everything except I really fives. Would, I really would love. To be roll and get some sixes. Wow. Dear goodness. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. Okay, there's another bot. This is not good. Are working up their weapon yeah. system. Right <laughs> we're 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 Takes charging up. Time. There's a one six. six. I need I... one more six and then I and then it's over. Yeah. All fives. Or two fives. All fives. Oh two my fives. god! Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> the battle fail. <laughs> so here's the thing. I only needed two sixes. I was able to pre-roll everything below fives, and I got a six, and a five, and a five, and a five, and a five, and a five. Sure. You have got to be scared. You died? No, I didn't. They both have shields. So I'm going to load this in. Oh, Jesse died. So I get a titanium and a point? Yes. Great. Thank you. Point. So much. I love seeing Devin fail. I'm a little pissed off that he was able to like rip us apart in the process, but uh, it is nice to see someone fall. Honestly, I would probably choose to be there anyway. What's one ship lost to uh, witnessing the destruction of your mortal enemy? Nice. So you have to lose battles and you can take yeah. this down. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Alice's well, so this survives that Deathclaw has a shield as well? Yeah, they both, they both have so shields that are now damaged, which is very amusing to me. <laughs> nice. That was good. Yeah, very I like that good. Battle. Good job. Six, five, 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 like five, five. That That's insane. Yeah, yeah, you couldn't yeah, have gotten yeah. one more six? Honestly, I blame the dice mat. Okay, roll tray. off the dice tray. There we go. All right. Basically, you were you were, you had the plans to take down the mortality sphere, and then there was this <laughs> errant <laughs> transport that distracted you. That you saw through like, what is that? And then all the so it right is down. so annoying. Like all I need one. Whatever the other Dark Star six. acolytes did, they uploaded a virus to those ships, and it worked. <laughs> that was oh, in Shiva. Same. Yeah. Oh, I lose one of these. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going. I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna just get a card. Yeah, Nearby I'm your going, space, your science vessel. Yeah, I'm going places. I'm going right over. I'm gonna go right here. Okay. I'm gonna grab this. Raider comes in. And yeah, the raider can come in. Appreciate it. There's one person who could join this fight. Well, actually, first it's you. Sorry, that's. You could join with your science vessel. Who else is Who else is capable of joining? Technically. Devin could spend oh, energy I could and spend an jump energy his jump. battleship. But you have to decide spot. first. Yeah. Yeah, I'm joining. Oh, I I didn't land here, so I can't pick that up. Correct. Right. On your well, actually, it's your turn. As a free action, you can pick up a leader anywhere where you have a ship, so you can. Picking pick him up. up before we leave him behind, and then and we're going. Yeah. Okay. That's Wait, you can pick it up anywhere you have a ship. So when I moved my fighter on there, turn. on your turn. Uh, yeah, I moved yes, my fighter sure, there, though, on my turn. Okay. Take it. Yep. All right. Now. All right. Well, let's just have jumping? some fun yeah, with a battle. Crew. Why not? He's Why in not? This fight. He's ready. To... It's a damage. Zodian warmongers. <laughs> Could go down. 
Here's a diplomacy phase. Question: I mean, When it goes into there. there, does it take two damp two repairs to fix it? No. Goes when it goes the into there, one bar? repair will move it into the repair barge. It'll actually come out fully repaired when you pull back. But okay. So you don't need you just won't be able to, need to repair it further than okay. moving the repair barge. Yeah. Right. Are you okay. doing a diplomacy card? No, I'm not no doing a diplomacy today. card. I'm going to do oh. diplomatic immunity. Even if you lose the battle, none of your ships can be damaged for the rest of this turn. <laughs> <laughs> diplomatic immunity! Very odd Anybody? that you're claiming diplomatic immunity. <laughs> Boing! I actually don't mind if... Would well, you want to roll for the raider? Because one of us has to put two extra dice oh. in this battle. You're rolling you four guess, dice? You can spend two. any energy? I roll four and I get targeting two. So I get to re-roll one. Why are you targeting on that ship? Huh? Because oh, both wow. of his dumb ships have targeting. <laughs> wow. I also have targeting too, right? Because I have two ships in You there. have targeting too. Yeah, yeah, so we each get to re-roll ones. Yes. Correct. But, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, Raider. I'm yeah, hoping for okay. the Vorticon Strikers to take you both out. What did oh, you get? Oh, snap. Six and a three. Okay. Six is a promising. Ooh. You get to re-roll the one. Yeah. yeah that was not Science vessel. Ooh. Six and a three and a two, so you beat. she beats the Raiders. And Four and a. You get so if I get a six, one. I win. Oh! Oh, oh, I win! The diplomatic immunity comes in handy here. So the Vorticon Striker is taken out. Yes, yeah. what's you the reward? Oh, I should have gotten the. There we go. So probably seeing a card for the Raider. Card. Then um, Devin gets to stay there but fires off his tactical. Which, off. is it just her turn? What? That I don't lose damage for or I don't take damage Yeah, just for okay. her okay. this moment. Can you give me a supremacy, please, which is two points? And two points, got it. I wasn't planning on getting involved in this many fights. I was not planning on going up the supremacy track whatsoever. Devin, Devin needs to stay on his side of the board. I want to keep doing my thing, I want to keep building my engine, and I want to keep building my ships. But he keeps, he keeps trying to damage me. And then you took your tactical ops as well, sir? I did not. I would love to take my tech. Oh, I should have taken it when I lost there, too. Okay. Who Who's won it? that epic battle down there? The Death Star. The, Death the Star. mortality yeah. sphere. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. with six, five, 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 <laughs> five, 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 five. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. All right. That me? Yeah. I have to pull back. Now, I've got one in the scrapyard. I have an engine that's barely an engine. But let's do this. We're gonna take one of these back to the. Let's we we need our prime. Well, actually, no. We're we're starting near the nebula. Every turn we start near the nebula, we generate either an energy or an ice. Awesome. So we're gonna generate energy here. Then we're gonna come back to our shipwright, which will repair our architect. After that, we've got one more ship. Now, when you're activating your engine, you can do so with energy or ships, but a ship must be present in each row. I'm going to have this ship come back and use the Chamber of Song. That is going to discard this tactics card for three points. One, two, three. Get myself into this game. Secondly, now I can use the Architect. I can spend this one energy to get a card. So I'll just charge back up for another song another day. Done. My engine's not terribly working right now. These come back to home. That one and that loser in the scrapyard comes back to home. We're gonna teach him that to, loser. We're gonna teach him how to fly in the nebula one of these days. And I put back in the energy spent. Done. All right. Okay. Jesse. All right. It's the middle of the game, and I have to be honest. I think Peter's kind of playing the long game. I see him maneuvering, building up a tableau a little bit, and I'm curious to see as he starts pulling things back together. Devin might be signing up for a battle that he can't win when it comes to endgame scoring. Don't underwrite him yet. He's got some endgame stuff. He's got a little bit of a tableau growing. I think he was just delayed in the process. Yeah, I'm going to start off with a tactics card. Do you have any ships to put out? No. Uh, play on any player's turn. Pay one energy. Uh, activate one module belonging to any opponent as if you had placed a ship on it. That's the unwelcome visitor. Yep, so I am going to be taking a uh, titanium and a coal. You don't want to do a repair on one of your ships to get them into the repair barge? No. Um, I can play another one. Yeah. Uh, play on your turn, perform uh, one repair. Each opponent damages one of their modules. 
Excellent. That's how we're playing this game. Okay. So, back to the okay. architect was damaged, then repaired, now back to damage. Okay. Now, at the beginning of your turn, if you have no ships in your launch bay, you may choose an unoccupied alliance base and perform its action as if you played a ship there, then regroup. So I'm going through my regroup phase. Yeah. I'm going to choose to pretend as if I played a ship here. Okay. Max Do I get field. this? Yes, because you're, if anyone asks if there's a ship there, it's a ghost ship. It's so a ghost there ship. is. Okay. You it's get it's got its cloak activated. Okay. I am then going to be spending uh, a coal and a wild resource mm -hmm. for yeah, that bottom, anything, yes. which is going to be this. Comes damaged, so take a damage on it. Yep. That's a pretty um, neat, as you got a power grid, but it's a little broken. Then right now. I'm going to spend this, and do I want to. Yeah, I'll spend both titanium for this. Ooh, that one looks nice. The, the sky, sky crane. crane. Yeah. That's going to move me up here and up here. I feel so This behind. is going to let me pull from the You get the to stack. look for the discovery tokens. Take the one you want. Don't yeah. have to cash it in now. Leave the crap for the rest of us. It's just not what I was looking for is not immediately available. Mm. Um, what is this one? That is game and module of civilization. I see. I see. Okay. Not bad because you also go up the track. Anytime you get a module for any reason, you gonna can do, advance that track. I'm going to do that one. Okay. Not then in yet. I'm pulling back my ships. Mm -hmm. So this ship is not broken. So it pulls back. And it can trigger mm -hmm. something. Now, it could trigger a repair. Um, could also trigger a coin. Could trigger a card. Is that your energy that moment. you own? What does this one here do? Is this your energy that you own? You, Should that be yeah. there? Okay. Yeah. You get a point and two titanium, and everyone else will get a titanium. The Sky Crane. Is it two titanium? It's two for him. Yeah, but it's generous to everyone else. else. I like it. I also like it. Love it. <laughs> you should probably do it, babe. Um, I'm going to go here for repair action, which will move that, that one into selfish. repair. Yeah. Then I'm going to pull this back. And you with should do this one, green. I think I'm going to go here. Cut it. Cut it. You selfish turd. You could be getting so much more. Oh, you could still use an energy. Think of all the titanium. Cream. What would Sia do? What would Sia do? Uh, this credits are wild. Yeah, for titanium, ice, and nanocarbon. Yeah, I'm going to do a credit. Okay. Selfish. Um, really selfish. And then, do I want to spend an energy? So, I'm going to spend an energy. Can only be to trigger a row that you're in with a ship already. So, it would have to be for this. It have to be sky credit. Yep. Yeah, so give me a point, yep. and I'll gain get... two titanium, and everyone will gain one titanium. Why is it? What? Your sky train is two on it? Okay. He gets one. We get... Everybody gets one. So one. He gets two. I get two. Oh, because... Oh, you get one everybody gets? Yes. Yeah. I don't think I've played that right. Okay. Devin, your turn. My turn. That's not a bad turn, right? No, I like it. Yeah. I think I'm going to... A lot of different ways to play these engines. ...play on my turn and move a raider and activate Same the base. command. I'm going to move this raider here, and I'm going to repair my death claw. I wonder why you want to do that. <laughs> and then I'm going to, I think... Play on my. Uh, I don't need to do that. Just you have yet. distance. You still have Xeno fuel. But you're yeah, I'm trying still to have to. hang on to my lead that I don't know how I got. Development. Well, I understand we all need that to get part. one of those, but uh, especially in the large. I mean, player I'm trying to figure out numbers. how I'm losing so poorly <laughs> at this game. I mean, well, Devin kept game. fighting. Us. I mean, he did. He did fight me. So and I think you just the next thing I'm going to do is with my last person. I'm going to go here, and now that I've moved them there, that'll be aggressively towards me, which is so nice. Everyone Why did you do that? Because if no, I kill both choose. of them... You choose which one comes out. Oh, uh, well, I'll go after Big Bad Boy. Have fun there. Then okay. I'm going to bring in my, m that Old. pretty person. Oh, like, right. I'll take him out, don't worry. Let's bring this person over and just have fun. Wow. That's a lot of ships. I've been smoking guys like this for most of my life. I mean, smoking. Guys like this have just been around, honestly. <laughs> They're really stressful. It's kind of why I've been smoking so much. You're so weird. I love it. Um, so weird Darth Vader impression. Man. Yeah, <laughs> which means now I'm going to have a full six dice, and I am once again going to have targeting five against five dice with targeting Justin, do you want to roll three. for him? Do you want me to roll for the, for the mortality sphere? You want me to do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you have five, five dice and targeting three. 
That was from a uncut scene. Six six five five. That's three. an amazing roll. Hello. Six six five five oh, four. So I'm what? not even gonna re-roll that. Oh, and wow. get wrecked! <laughs> wow. Mortality sphere. <laughs> nice. Sorry, that was really aggressive. Yeah, I apologize that. for that. The mortality sphere was presented as one of the greatest foes in the game, so I took it upon myself to challenge it, and the day has come. It has fallen, and I am the victor. Does that actually help me? Probably not. But do I feel it in here? 100%. The reward for beating that is, is going not only double up. Double up the support. Yeah. Send the money for the repairs. Yeah. yeah. And go up. You don't on have to cash it. This one? You, you can cash it later. Honestly, you say the word he's fine. I'll cash it in now. Is it going up that back. track? Is yeah. that token go up I mean, the track? I mean, it's going to help me get. Is this not get. My, oh, is, it, is this a free module? It's a module in science. Which you'll go Peter up the track anyway. That I'm, I'm not allowed to play anymore. You're fired. Okay. How many we people have fired me in like the last stuff. week? Um, Probably you, a lot. You're cashing it in now and grabbing a science module, which will take you up the track anyways. Yes. I would love... Mm, there's so many good ones here. What is that? Okay, that says... You get, you an, get energy. an energy for sure. Energy. If you have a city, you also get a point in a nice every mm. time you use that module. And a city. Nobody really has true. a city. It would need to be built on an ice planet, and so that that's only one energy to you right now. Gotcha. Okay, well, I will take this uh, lovely thing. That's from a set that we're still we're experimenting with different modules, possibly some alien tech, possibly some ancient relics and stuff that, that mixes in nicely. Yeah, so that yeah. you can put that in your deck. So we're trying some something. I like think that. I'm also going to do hazardous modifications to damage one of my modules. I think I'm going to currently damage. Um, oh, I didn't give myself that bonus energy that I should have in my turn. Um, and then, which one do we want to damage? I think I'm okay to damage this one for right now. And I'm going to gain a ship upgrade. I really like that. Uh, turbo transports, please. Sure. Now, the turbo transports are going to allow his transports to have a distance of mm -hmm. two. When he runs out of that Xeno fuel, he'll still have a little bit of gas in the pretty, tank. It's pretty aggressive. Now, I like nice, all of you, and I really want to be a part nice of The only nice thing this. about Devin beating up on the Raiders, it's kind of making space <laughs> safe for the rest of us. That's yeah, that's, that that's really that's what, what I'm doing for you all. I mean, I'm sure. going to take it that way. Yeah, okay. Back in this game. I got a plan, but it, I need some time. Question. Yeah. That event that's in play, is it still if you build? Mm. Yeah, developing one, planets is one unless, cheaper. Okay, cool. Pulling back. <laughs> You're recalling to build? Pulling this guy back. The event just came out that gives a discount for building the developments. I've been trying to get to this point where I can build a development. I think this is going to be my chance. I've got almost all the resources, and I just have to go for it. He is going right here. I am building on this planet build for one port. credit. Okay. That nice. is... Now, Spaceport's one of our models in sort of development. You can choose to... So it locks into a transport. You can choose to build the leaders... Uh, we're thinking circle side out. It's no, they're right down there. Okay. And then it requires two leaders. Two leaders would you have. Circle side out. Yeah. Let's see how that works. Okay. It's a little bit of Frankenstein. Oh, it doesn't. It builds like a platform. And they, yeah, they're, they're a little tight really right now. It doesn't really go in right now very you well. You try the other way. You want know Spurs that out. Our spaceports are still under construction. You know. Sounds yeah. like spaceports. I like, I really like how the little development buildings, though, and that gets you yours this building. Slime pieces color. in. Yeah, yeah. That gets me this one, <laughs> correct? Yes, yeah, so you get the card. Now, what it instructs you to do is go up one on the commerce track first. I'm blue, please. Thank you. Then it says score leaders. Now you're kind of by yourself over there, Two, but there are a couple three, leaders nearby. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight. That's, that's decent. Eight points. All right, so that's going to put you at 18. Then you have an ability, a one-time ability, to take any two resources and make them any three resources. Hmm. And when you do that, you'll flip over that card. Any two resources that. to any three? Yeah, you can do it right now if you're anxious to use your spaceport's economy. Oh, I mean, getting three and credits. And then you'll flip that over, it reminds you how it scores at yep. the end of the game. You're currently at a level one spaceport. Now I can pull back Yes, this. those can also use your engine. Yep, I'm going to pull back this, and I am going to 
place it I've on taught them all too well. Here. They're destroying <laughs> me right now. Put it on. I mean, I'm back here with you. I mean, yeah, okay, that makes you feel a little bit yeah, better. But I'm you back here and yeah. I have nothing. What? Can you please, yeah. I'm slotting a moon in here for two points. Can you okay. please give me two points? Absolutely. And then I am slotting a moon in here for okay. one point. Can you please give me an additional point? Nice. Look at how close those And I'm slotting are. a moon in here, which doesn't give me a point, but it's just going to be fun. She's got her industry engine humming. And point. now I'm going okay. here, if which I is going to generate there, me two energy. Two energy. Which would give me two more points. Do you have one more to move? Because I, I would have had, I would have had oh, both Oh, you have that here. one, right? Oh. Hold up, hold up. Because I energy. used both of them. Can I have now get yeah. two ice? So repair. that was a point. And, and, and then you're getting a, you and get then that one to repair. That to repair, oh, you're right. unfortunately. You're right. So it's only one point. Nice. And then I'm so using nice. another energy to go here, which is going to get me, please, a tactics card. And then I can either build a ship or do a repair. Um, so she just used one ship on her industry uh, modules, and then the other one she activated with energy. You mm. can do that. Luke designed the Manhattan Project Energy Empire, which also uses workers and energy to activate a tableau. That's one of his trademark moves. Oh, dope! Okay. One, I like when two. someone looks at a card and goes, oh, no! Oh, dope! That's how, what I want to have What's happen my hand limit on these? You have a hand limit of five. 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 Unless you go up the Civ track and improve that. When he comes back home, yes. does he repair himself? Yeah. When and Yeah, all ships when they come back so home. He will be repairing efficient. himself because I want to build a ship. I'm building one of these. My ability is pay one less resource every time you build a ship. So I have to pay one wild resource. I will pay this. Nicely done. Um, so I built that ship and now you can come home as well. And why not? Let's trigger the treasury and get another coin. What's it like to be good at this game? <laughs> and now that everyone has come home. The shining. They all, <laughs> so he now takes off his damage because he came home repaired. Yeah. He comes home. He comes home. I'm coming home. home. And I give so rid of the two coming. energy I spent to activate it. It is the soundtrack for this game. <laughs> Let's listen to eight versions of it like we did previously. I was thinking more like, you know, the Led Zeppelin, the, you know, basically the, uh, you know. And then I'm playing this. Play on your turn. Look at the next two event cards. And can I please have the next two event cards? Mm -hmm. We're getting close to an event. I don't know if we're making I love back how Sheer and I take these impossibly long and convoluted turns, and Jesse <laughs> goes, "I did one thing." By the way, I'm also in the lead. <laughs> <laughs> My turns have been very straightforward and simple. Yeah. Can I do that? Yes. <laughs> Great. That's twelve points. Perfect. All right. Put this one on top, please, mm -hmm. and this one on the bottom. Sure. As long as you don't trigger a vent, Stop I can it. use my ability to you make sure whatever she just did yeah. isn't yeah. there. Yeah, okay, excellent. Yeah. You're doing something over there. That observes. There's very few tracks and I'm not doing anything for both of us. Modified ability when you can Good. determine what scores, right? <laughs> I don't like that track. I don't care that you didn't know My turn? You it's your turn. Yes, it is. It I would is. like to fly over to the trade hub, please, all the way near her space part. And I'd like to collect my leader as I arrive. And we are going to take uh, a nanocarbon and a titanium and convert those to two credits. We learned a couple of things about trade from her spaceport nearby, and we're done. Okay. Uh, I would really like this token because I have no what? energy at all. Um, and that's it? I think so. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Observatory, gonna flip, gonna look at the two events. <laughs> you could have messed with the one nice. Sierra did. Yep. Interesting. I predict she left wow. the industry at the top. Honestly, neither of those are great. I'll stick this one on the bottom, okay. and I'll stick this one on the top. Peter, I have a question. Can this switch someone that's outside with someone that's at the base? Yeah. Okay. Good to okay. know. Okay. Your turn, Devin. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do this thing where uh, yeah. I play this on my turn, swap my ship here with this ship here. Correct. Devin feels like he does a lot and then doesn't really do much. I love our it's friendship. Just, that his uh, death claw was actually a hologram version of death claw. <laughs> just and now the actual death claw is coming out to crush something. And so, so now I'm going to go... One, two, three spaces away to the shit talker. Oh, 
and um, kills this, this one. Class, sir. So first you get you realize first you, you take the actual item if you kill on. Sure, go okay. for that, babe. If and that's now what wait, you feel there's like you escalation. Need. I could join. And take you gonna join? This. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna join their blood feud? I mean, I don't have weapons. No, I'm out. For this, I've created a really good arsenal of ships, but the problem with that is that the tendency is when you have more ships, you delay the amount of time in which you return to ship. And that's unfortunate because I've actually created a really good engine and I just haven't used it except for one time. And whether I needed to do it earlier or to play in a longer game, I haven't synced up with where Endgame is and with what I'm doing, and I'm it, I'm gonna suffer for it at some point. Weird, peaceful nebula. I'm gonna play people. this to discard peaceful this and nebula. draw two. Okay, two cards. Cycling the tactics deck for a little while. Yeah. Of here. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. I think I'm going to... Do I have a card to help anybody who's fighting Deathclaw? I think <laughs> we put that card in the game, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. Let me write that uh, one right now. I feel pretty good about that card, honestly. It's just... As a free action on my turn, I'm going to discard a diplomacy card to draw two tactic cards. Look at these. Just don't, monsters, I just man. don't like Where that one. Um, Churning through the deck. It's pretty powerful. There's almost all unique cards in there. We are we added a couple duplicates of some of the badass ones, which I think was important. I don't like playing with him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like his access to these cards. I don't like how he can just move across the galaxy. <laughs> well, I don't right? care about that. It's a strong preference against playing with Devin. Mm. Um, I'm gonna play on my turn and oh, uh, the push the market? event deck further. Okay. Yeah, that allows you to buy a module. Yeah, right I'm just going to buy that turn, one. Basically. There. That's going to push you up the industry track. Yep. And that Putting your factories two. at level two. Your non existent factories, but hey. Your non existent factories? Yeah, no, it's totally right. You're 100% right. I I'm gotta, also going to. Hmm. I, can, I can't really talk. I don't have any developments Get either. Get in there. This battle with me. I'm fine. I'm, I'm not, I'm not oh. in this. I'm going to also play to this to presence. push it to the event deck as well. And I'm going to move this here to repair. Wow, he's triggering an event. Here. This module. They, the, the people in control want this over. I totally <laughs> understand that, but I, I got to get back in there. What are you doing? I'm just delaying the fact that I'm about to fight Jesse. Okay, fight. <laughs> okay. I gotta... I'm going to keep that for now. And then I'm going to uh, grab oh. two of these on my... Have, have, you huh? have you been giving one back? Have you been giving one back? Yeah. Ever, ever yeah. I can't see I the am. bloodshed that's about I've to I've slowly happen. gained up. Diplomacy cards. Anyone? So no? I'm also going to, I think, just pay. One. To bring my big boy over here, because oh, why wow. not? And then I'm going to roll sorry. all six of my dice. This is just, this is beating on you. <laughs> and then I'll just... Oh, there we go. That's a good fight. Not um, so then this one goes you bye bye. Six dice I'm going to gain a titanium Fort. and a point, which is perfectly fine for me, actually. Yeah, that's you fine, and I'm perfectly points. happy to push up that. Your obelisks are now level two. Yeah, my non-existent obelisks. <laughs> He's got two <laughs> developments that are up to level two, but he doesn't have those developments. Let's it's not okay. let him build anything. It's okay. Because if he just fights and fights and fights, that isn't actually points. That's true. Yeah. Right? Oh, man, I cannot believe Devin just took out my ship on that ice planet. It was the perfect place to build. I have everything I needed. All I had to do was take one more action cycle on construct, and it was mine. The cool thing is that I don't think it actually throws off my plan more than one turn because I still have a ghost ship available. And that allows me to trigger any of these planets that I want, and I want to build. My turn? Uh, so doesn't that event go off oh, that I right. trigger? Oh, we do an event. And what are you triggering? Please tell us what it is. Uh, score for this one, which well, I'm totally Well, tell us the title on. of the event, which it's... will be nicely illustrated at some point, <laughs> but it is not yet. It is Comet Storm. Score the civilization track that none of Comet us... Comet Storm yes. 22. So you actually score seven minus Hello. one, so you get six points there. I'll take yeah. it. Yeah, I'm pulling And then it. Jesse gets a full six. I get a full six. And then Sheer and I, I get four. And I get we four. both get four. One, two, three, four. What happened to your stations? 
And then the ice pirates come in. Oh, the ice pirates. And what's the special thing that happens? Special the special effect ice. is put one ice on the newly placed planet and oh. one ice on each adjacent one. These may be collected by players who lost their ship. De doesn't Devin enjoy fighting these guys? Yeah, I if do. I remember correctly. I think so. Didn't I kill the mortality? No, you? it's still alive, isn't it? That's no, the, you blew it yeah, up. I blew it up. That's so it's gone. Bye-bye. Oh, how could we forget when it was chucked out, out of space and time? <laughs> Four ice out. One, two, three, four. And, and four of these. Does the ice the pirates start on that one? No, they start on the trade hub. Sorry. Yeah. Trade hub, please. Right where I am. I love it. I'm so excited. Maybe I want to come in this fight now. Is that the end of your turn? Okay. Uh... Ice pilots, sure. by the way, freeze out all sure. opponents except for one. So it's hard to get at them. Oh, they roll on four dice. Now. And they have shields. They're going to be around a little bit. I don't think Devin can take them down. Let's we'll see. We'll find out. I'm going here. Grabbing a moon. When the ice pirates attack. Just kidding. They don't have okay. a range of two. Who's, who has range <laughs> to get to me? Okay, my turn. And so now the event is gone that makes stuff yes. cheaper. Yep. Oh, that's a bummer. Would you take me to the Odessa sector, please? Oops, sorry. Odessa sector, the oh. ice pirates say hello. <laughs> I know that's going to be fun. Now, before that happens, I get to buy from the mm -hmm. Odessa sector. The first thing that I'm going to do, I'd like to buy that, uh, what is it, the Ministry of Commerce? Ministry that's an endgame module. Now, I don't know why I'm buying endgame modules before I have an engine, but I'm doing it. And then I'm going to buy. That's going to cost me ice and an anything. Let's do two ice for that. The next thing I'm going to buy is something to get me into this game. I have good moons, so I don't want to buy something like the market that mm -hmm. puts a good moon and then gets something else. I love the logistics. It's going to give me some options. So okay. I'll take that bottom one. It only costs me a credit. Some resource generation. I'd like to go up on the two tracks that I bought modules from. Yeah. So in your purple. On commerce and on civilization. Wait, yeah, your. Okay. And then that ticks the event. Okay. That's me. Now there's going to be a fight. Now here is escalation where many people may join. It starts with me. I'm not going to come in. Actually, you know what? No the one's firing. Just they're freezing them out. out. Yeah. So it's just me. It's just you. Fire. It's fantastic. Well done, dice. I can do this. <laughs> One How dice. much did the ice pirates have? Uh, four. four. There were four. Four dice. Okay. So we go. One ship could do it. Yeah. One ship can do not, not do it. Not it gonna, so yeah. did it. Four, Great. four, one, so one. So I go into there. My tactical operations is going to be ooh, three points. How about two points. Two points. Now no one else knows this. Well. I mean, our Discord might have guessed this, but everyone in our Discord is saying, why can't you have space dragons here? Why can't you do it? And Sandara Tang, the artist from Flamecraft, has illustrated a secret faction, and we're gonna bring that out on GameFound. You're gonna love it. How about a little bit of economy? One point, point in a coin? credit. Yeah, okay. I'll take this, get this going. All right, on to me. Mm -hmm. I, do I get this ice crystal if I go? If you launch if you... there. If I land here? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. You get that Ice one and you get and that. And the moon. Oh, I get to pick up this as well. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Devin. Pretty easy. Mm. All right, I'm going to recall. I feel like my turns are so much different I than know. Devin's. I know. What? Me too. He's recalling. Wait, do you want to leave any out to build on? The only one that I would leave it out is there that has the potential for it, but it really only gets two points. Three four. points. Well, well, four points. Exactly. Yeah. Which is like, okay. I guess. Wow, we're like development snobs now. Must be a two. Well, the two that I'm good at is obelisks and factories. True, that isn't your category. It really isn't my fair. scene, to be honest. <laughs> just want to build a spaceport. I think I actually just kind of <laughs> want to activate all my system the stuff. Activate. So these two aren't going to activate Once anything. you've lit the sky on fire, what is there to look at? This is going to go away by the end of this and when it comes back in. Uh, so I'm going to bring one in here and that's going to repair this module. You know what my papa said. And then I'm gonna bring there won't one be any here stars to observe to anyway. All of this, so we I get, get three energy. energy. You all get an energy. Thanks for the energy, you though. Should get. I get four energy, energy actually. The warmongers handing me a piece. Of Can you please give me a victory like point as well? Can you give Devin a point? I guess. 
And then it I won't might matter. as well. Um, How am I ahead of him in points? <laughs> I just have no idea. How am I ahead of everyone? <laughs> Can you give me another point? I'm crushing. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. And then I'll just do. We all get a black one. You all get ice and polycarbon. Okay. And nanocarbon. I like this. I mean, sure. The warmongers want to just raid stuff and hand like it to I'll, us. I'll take did it. Did you get? Did he give me the extra that point? Mm -hmm. I gave you. Okay. Yeah. So I get three of these, and then I get two ice. I like that I can get energy and then just use it at the end to mm -hmm. run this. Mm -hmm. Then I get uh, two titanium. And I think that's it. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. Okay. You got and more then, ships? Yep. And I got two more. And I'm going to... Honestly, at this point, instead of... Hmm. I, I didn't have enough to keep that one there and do all of this. So that's fine. So I'll just get a coin. And then I'll do a, a card. tactic card. Okay, pretty sweet engine turn in there. Your industry is firing on all cylinders. Then I'll get these guys Stop back. Back up. Okay. And all of these. Everything is ready. And then these all energy is spent. And you're ready to go back on Andromeda out there into the space. Hey guys, I let's let's hang up. out. <laughs> let's hang out, guys. You done? Yeah. Um, All right, everyone. We got one turn without Devin around. <laughs> <laughs> you done? Nice. Um, you I actually think I want to play stealth maneuver. Okay. Just to get this That's guy good. out here on the map. You were saying <laughs> one um, turn about. I know. Uh, so now, it has to go to a planet, a right? I have no ships left. Oh wait, it has to go to a planet. So oh wait, I'll get, I can. Can I get the ice? No, it's a. It's not a launch. Shut up, Peter jerk. Ugh, that's fine. I'll greedy. still go there. <laughs> greedy, greedy warmonger. I'll still go there. That's fine. Nobody's aware that you showed up there. It's a. Uh... You done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I'm done. This guy has range. Oh, this goes bye bye. Two. He's landing here. Cool. Could you spend an energy to go too? He has oh, a his, range. Oh, you upgrade. He's it's got a range two. Don't oh, forget your captain. Wait, I have a question. If I had moved here, yeah. would it have brought that it's one over? A stealth maneuver. You're right. No one knows you're there. Well, yeah. it's a big stealth maneuver. I mean, it's an awkwardly can I large. Can my stealth turn? Maneuver. I'm building on okay. here. I'm building Ooh, an obelisk. This. Oh, that's like a good this. one to build. On yeah, turn it just a little, turn it a notch. That front faces here. There we go. Right towards the camera. There Lock we go. that in. So that's this the ability. Leader locks mm -hmm. into yep. that now. Here's one leader. Very nicely done. I'm put him in here. Very nice. I believe I get 10 points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then 10, 10 11, 11, 12, 12 13. Crushed it. 10 points, please. I pay one of every resource. Uh, we're going to 35. That's a nice. One of every resource, just paid. You take the supremacy, the uh, obelisk oh. card over there, which you've already <laughs> done the scoring of leaders, but you also move up the supremacy track. Yep. Boop. And now it'll give me a one-time bonus of that. For energy anytime you want it. I need to keep building these ships and getting them out there. If I do, I get an endgame bonus. But it is very hard to keep building when I need to keep repairing. Alright. Monsieur. Okay, so I am going turn. to do the smart thing and mm -hmm. fly right at the ice pirates. That's okay. what you do, right? Yeah, perfect. You're going in there? I am. Ding. I'm going back to the Odessa sector to get more modules. That is how I'm going to do this. For some reason, it seems like you feel like you need an engine. A little bit. Yeah. What? Will I get one in time? Not so sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to spend an ice and a credit to buy the second one up on the sieve. Can't see the name of that. But it is the customs office. Oh, customs. That's great. We'll do this. And you're going to go up on sieve there and... Oh, now look you at that! Refill my your my tactic tactics again. card, my hand size is now six, and you immediately dropped to your that's hand nice. size. That's nice. Oh, that's so nice. I needed some cards. Let's see what those are in just a minute. Um, now I can buy a second one. Just gonna quick glance them over. Ooh, that's nice. I would like to get the bottom commerce one. Still requires me to get kind of crappy moons. Um, Yeah, 
but it's pretty good. I could buy the second. I could buy the second one in commerce, which trades things into cards and then use those cards. I like that second one. Can I have that? The middle commerce one. Middle. Yeah, it's a market of some kind. Futures analyst. Okay, I'm gonna take that <coughs> with a credit and anything, and I'll go up on commerce, please. Mm -hmm. Headed towards the vault bonus, possibly, if there's enough time. That's my turn. Play after now, an opponent gains a module before refreshing the modules at no cost. Grab no, that one. Is that a heist? Yep. Check and this out. You just pulled off a heist. And you I'm just pulled off a heist. One and on this I track. just perform. I have a tracking device. When someone goes up a track, go up the same track. You did a heist on commerce. I was right there. Oh man. I'm oh, moving up as well. Do you both hit that? Yeah, we both hit that. Unfortunately, that's kind so of... So an event's triggering. An event is triggering at the end of my turn. Well... I would love for it to be <laughs> in at least one of two tracks. I am now going Science? to be facing... Yeah. Well, since we're going to be facing an event, I'm going to perform frantic repairs, two repairs on my module, so I did that for good scoring. Okay. And then... Um... I'm going to play Mission Catastrophe. This is the, the best time to get yellow cards out when you've already uh, hit this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play Mission Catastrophe. That's a good <laughs> hey. Play on your turn. Each other player must discard a resource and damage one of their ships That's or annoying. modules. That's annoying. Can I have two damage I on one like thing? I feel like that feels like a catastrophe type chart. You must lose a resource and you must damage a ship <sighs> or a module. If you damage, she's playing. I lost. No, I'm just losing a oh, card. That's gotcha. my resource. And then and ship damage. or a module. If you're gonna damage, can it the ship. be the same thing I'm damaging? Can be can more. Can no, just multiple that, damages. no, you can't multiple damage. What I'm asking for. Okay. After everyone's done that, I believe I'm headed into that fight before we do this event. Yep. Hmm. So one ship. Yeah. One die against this time. Four pirates. I got those pirates. I got their number. Oh yeah. The, cl the nebula show me their number. Is it three or less? Ooh. Oh, six. Baby. Six two one one one. Yeah, so no, you still so lost. But going to the scrapyard. You're yeah. getting closer to I having their tactical phone bonus, number. which is one point and one credit, and I play an acceptable loss. After you lose the battle, advance one space on a track of my choice. Hmm. I wonder if I you're going say, up to the vault. I'm gonna take the vault bonus. Yeah, I'm gonna get up there. Nice. So okay. now what's the event? Let's see. We have the Mechaphage Infestation. Which one? Wow, this is a nasty uh, one. Yes. Industry. You know, I actually wish we had the Flame Care free sources for this because I don't have tokens, <sighs> but we'll figure this out. Industry is going to score. I don't like that. I'm okay with I'm that. the bottom of industry. I'm okay with Sticks. that. Uh, Devin's scoring. So I get nine many? points. Nine. nine minus any damage? No, ten minus one damage is nine. Okay. I have nine minus two damage. Seven. Okay, you're getting seven. Forty-two. 42. Six minus two damage for me. Four is total. And you get I'm five. Getting five. Yes. One, two, three, now I am in the back. How this one works? First, we do a region. And then I'll explain what the mecha phase. So where, do you, where do you want the region? All right, it's my turn. And as a science planet, not too picky. Let's put it over by that spaceport. Yeah. Now we have to come up with tokens for this. I don't have a token, so we'll have to pick something to be this. But everyone's going to do the following thing. First, mm -hmm. everyone gets two repairs. It seems like a bright day on your space station. Okay, great. So okay. I don't it's need been any. It's so a I'm very take good two day. Points. Okay. Then, if I only needed one, do I get one get point? One. So then then you bump me infest... ahead of yours? Yeah. Sorry, I just, suppose. Yeah, I just needed Then an infestation that. comes on board each of our mm -hmm. space stations. Mm -hmm. Each player takes a mechaphage token. I was using Flamecraft Meat in one playtest mm -hmm. at Gen Con. <laughs> and puts it on one of their undamaged modules. When you repair that, you may pass the mechaphage to another player on your left. So it's considered damage. It's damage. We're gonna need some kind of. Token. I used to die. Yeah, I guess that's fine, unless you're Kay. rolling all six like Devin is, though. So Devin it might yeah. be something. We'll find that. Use the die for right now, and we'll we'll maybe locate Kay. something to be it. You're gonna put that on one of your undamaged modules. You're gonna decide what you want to damage, and then if you repair that, it it goes to the person on your Mine left. Now you have an option. 
When you're repairing it, you may spend a titanium to fully kill that infestation for two points. Hmm. So instead of passing it, you can be the one to take on it. On your out. turn, you can on do that. Turn. Interesting. When you're doing a repair. When you're repairing. Is that the end of your turn? That is it, because the okay. event is the end. I am going to uh, do a recall, which allows me to use my ghost ship to start with. My ghost ship is going to go here, which will pick up this. I'm then going to go ahead and do a build Son action a there. Wow, for a city. For a city. Nice. Please hand me a city, Devin. I don't want to. Uh, so this doohickle. I was going to turn it towards the other way. It's going to lock in. Oh, that's, that's the fun. I'm going to lock in there. And I you get to add your leaders to build the, the towers. Tops of the city here. Nice. I do love this little system. Like, just putting things on things is so satisfying. Two constructions. I feel really solid about this. The second one was not as beneficial as it could have been. Shira actually has positioned slightly better than me at the moment. However, I do feel good about getting them both on the board. And early enough, they scored decent points. The question now is, is whether or not I can actually drive endgame fast enough. I think I know where some hidden victory points are, and I also have designed my entire tableau to just generate points no matter what happens. I recall, I get a few points. I get destroyed, I get a few points. I repair, I do anything. I get a few trickles in. I don't think it would work for a longer game, 60 or 70 points, but for a 50 point crescendo, I might just race to victory. Yeah, so you I literally have no Luke ship did, other than when that Luke one. did uh, dwellings, oh, he cooked Where? up the idea of a house up in rooftop here. on top of a meeple. Yeah. And here he's going oh, in the launch one step though. beyond that. Yeah, I, I really we'll I really get it stable. System. How'd you trigger the meeple? Um, so, because I have a ghost ship. Presence. So, if he doesn't have a ship in launch That's bay, That's going to result in three, four, five, six points. Mm -hmm. Six for you. Really tight things. Okay. You're also getting the yep. blue card. Now that has one of the coolest abilities. The city is hard to build because it's got three leaders. Sure. You it also go up on Civ, which she just marked, and you have a module for free whenever you want it. Ooh, mm. I have a module for free whenever That's I nice. want it. I'm gonna take it right now. That's interesting. Yeah, I, I think I will go ahead and grab it. So Oh, that's a nice one. I'll grab flips over oxygen vents. The card flips over and I go up by one here. Yeah. Which is going to Just get you set to me to level two. Uh, then I'm still recalling, so I'm going to pull this ship back. This ship's going to go here for the repair module. I am going to spend a titanium to, to go ahead kill and kill it. that for two extra victory points. And now you're ahead. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to spend an energy here, which is going to give me a titanium back. Uh, another titanium. It's you going to give everyone a titanium and titanium. two victory points, please, because, because I have a repair here. and that. Why uh, two victory points? Oh, that's right. Okay. Why is it one for there the and one because yep. his repair can't repair anything anymore. Oh. You get a point when you can't repair. That's mm. my turn. He's getting points. We've now gotten into the worst period of the game that I knew was coming, but I wasn't prepared for it in my soul. Jesse and Shira are competing for who wins, and me and Peter are competing for who doesn't lose. I, I hope I don't lose. Devin's got a pivot right now as the Zodian Warmongers. He's done a great job of battling, but that's not the way to win. He's actually going up the supremacy track. What I'd like to see him do is build right now and get the right developments to take this win. Now you're down to one ship, though? Yeah. You're flying really, really. Where is this? Where is this? Where is, this? Hmm? is that back to the... No, it's back. Okay. Yeah, I did good. Yeah, I like hmm. it. You're in the lead. If, hmm. if we can't pull enough of an endgame score on this, it's pretty... We'll see. This is where the clock... We're looking at the last event now. Because anything yeah. Jesse gets is going to push him over. Yep, yep, yep. So we're playing to 50 today in our entry-level Andromeda's Edge match. Alrighty, and I am going to... I feel like to... there's a dozen systems I haven't even touched so far. Go ahead and That's go... sign, I think, for this game. High... Yeah. Hi. And then, um, for some reason, Devin still thinks killing people is his path to victory. <laughs> I, I love it. Well, well I mean, I guess it could do go there. One of the tracks. If he was just to build obelisks, yeah. this would be a winning strategy. It would be, but or I guess I could right go there, card. and I'm gonna have at least well, one more the turn. The right card would push him up pretty decently as well. Yeah. That would be one, two, three, four, five, 
Six. That's not terrible. Is that worthy of the sodium warmonger stuff? That's a good question. <laughs> you guys seem to really switch your commentary as soon as I decide and put one possible <laughs> other option. Um, yeah, because I guess if I'm going to have two options, I could still do a fight and do that. So if I go there, that gets that, and that gets that. And I get the Our card Raiders for that. really haven't been doing anything for a minute here. Mm. The ice, well, I've been fighting the ice pirates, but literally. they've killed you a few times. Yeah, yeah, it's good times. Um, okay, and then I'm going Don't to play like this. Play now. on your turn. Choose a planetary region. Can you kick the? Why are you doing this to the track? Oh, because I really man. like you guys. Why? I really like you guys. The track? I really like you guys. Do you? Doesn't seem like you do. You're ending our time here. Let's just just. Calm but if out. all I said at the beginning of this was if I beat Peter by you're the end a, of this, you're not gonna beat. Me. <laughs> oh, you don't think I'm gonna Slow beat down. you? Slow down. You don't think I'm gonna beat you by the time we get to end game scoring? I got this. Okay. Oh, we'll see. We'll see, boo boo. Um, and then I'm gonna take. I'm the proud owner of this. Vault. I'll have you know. Which I can I it. immediately use this to repair this? Yes. And spend this. To fully get rid of this, mm -hmm. and then so, I'll take two points, please. Two points. Did he just fix <laughs> the mechaphasia on his mm -hmm. board? Where did so you... did he, he? He did it with titanium. Mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. Nobody's keeping mechaphasia around. All right. Okay. I just want the points from them. Yeah. You know. That, yeah, I just. I've seen the them pass around and get stuck on a it's board. Like, it's like a good little point. But then that it. person has an awesome cleanup for like a whole ton of points. Yeah. So. And that will probably be in the more nastier deck. There'll be some things that just, you know, back Don't queue up a so bit. I'm trying to figure out what if what I want to do is wise or if I should probably not. do the cool things. That's what Devin said. Uh, no. Yeah, okay. We are going over. This doesn't count as presents, right? Mm. I mean, presence. Like, adjacency? It's not a, it's, no, it's not a Kay. one of your units. So we're going here. With this ship? You, yes, you can fly into the Ice Pirates. I can fly into the Ice Pirates, okay, correct? Move that up. Yeah, you're going to shop here at the... Uh, yeah, the I'm second. doing into some next one. shopping. I don't know if I can. Grabbing this. Increase that. Peter, I only have one ship left. Fault. Yeah, but you'll need to go somewhere Two that it's your four points. points. That's one coin. It's harder mm -hmm. said than done. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. And then... <laughs> harder said than done. Coin and a wild resource. Okay. Pushing up on that. Commerce Shark, that's actually helping her spaceport mm -hmm. get to level two. That's a nice move. I could learn from these moves. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I could also learn <laughs> how to play this Grabbing game. this one instead, which costs this would be great. point instead the of The developer, price. publisher of the game has... No, it, this is what I actually love about Dwellings, too. You go in with a strategy, you're pretty sure you're going to get it, and then the game just twists. When and idiots turns. crush you. No, you guys are competent, awesome players. So I went here. Thanks. I bought two mm -hmm. things. Um, I went up all me. those tracks. Grabbing Definitely my little leader. At me. Three people. Oh, and just two. You You're gonna the, fight the ice pirates. No, I'm fighting the ice pirates. No, ice pirates. Now you do have this obelisk, which adds a die. Okay. You can't bring in any other ships, so it's your science vessel. Oh. And it's two dice plus my one, and Someone's I have rolling one defense. Four for the pirates. Please get those pink ones. Go oh, a six. It? Six and, and then three. Six threes. three. Does it have any rerolls? Um, mm. the ice pirates. No. Oh. Wow. That's not gonna work. Uh, no. Which pirates are no, tough. I just have one damage. Oh, and nice. Shield. Nice. Should survive. And I lose a battle, which I'm just going to heal that and gain a cobalt. Mm. Titanium. Nice. So, no damage. I'm going to pull back. I've got two ships. However, they're in the scrapyard. That's not a good sign. I happen to have a card here on reserve power. I hate to use it because I'm going to tick the event track. But it says I can use all ships in the scrapyard to activate my station. Okay. So I'm gonna have those two ships, please. This is really flying too lean. Too... Oh, and then they've got that one on their ship. Okay, you want great. this one? I'll take that one as well. All three of these need to do their job. Let's use that reactor for two energy. Mm -hmm. Let's then fly down here and get a coin. 
definitely is the treasury for a coin, yes. And then We're now that means you can do energy, energy in that room. coin here for a card and a point. Nice. Let's then fly to this one and get... I wish I do need to take care of that, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Chamber of Song. Let's ditch that that card for three points. One, two, three. Let's just pass down on one, one moment there. Okay. We're going to put this That's one here and this. spend any resource to go up the commerce track. Boom. I like that. Yeah, let's move up the <coughs> commerce track. I've got logistics now. One energy left to do that. You do have a decent little engine running now. And now it's a little bit too late though, but it's running. Another card or anything. I think I need... I think I'm gonna need this ice. So I'm gonna go here to get ice. Now that means all my ships are now coming back home. And this is spent and I'm done. Okay. Uh, I'm sailing out here. This guy will be moving into me. That track oh, goes yeah. up. I'm gonna be doing a purchase. I have this too late, and everybody. a wild resource. I'm gonna flip this for two coins. Okay. So I'm gonna purchase one, purchase two. Sheer is uncomfortably close to me on the victory point track, and I don't know what end game scoring she has. I'm actually not familiar enough with the game to really know what anyone's scoring is going to be. But I do know that if I am ahead and I trigger Endgame, I at least go out on my own account. So that's what we're gonna do. I've gotta scratch my way there. I, I don't have a lot of great ways to score big victory points anymore, but I think I can close the gap with a few strategic purchases. That's gonna move me by two, which is gonna let me dig here. Moves the bad tracker. We're doomed. Which means also where's- a good game, by the way. Where's the token? Are some tokens not included? There's a lot of different tokens in every game. You want it's a not specific the same token. token. There was a five under you one of these piles one? during one game. You're talking about that one? No, there was that five. I know, but yeah. they're not always the same token. Uh, All right, I'll get two, two points in the card. Okay. Oh, you were looking to end it on that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, look at that. Uh, Trying to take us out. Uh, play on your turn, pay the appropriate cost and build one ship, gain two Here it is, everybody. Do I have to be able to build a ship to do this? So two wild to make a yes, transfer? you do have to be able to. That's fine. And then I get two VP. And? And I move the, that marker forward. This uh, will trigger the end. Which means, well, I'll have one more turn, yeah. right? Yep. Including Jesse. Yep. Mm -hmm. mm, I just need, I wanted two more. I need a two more. I, I wanted two, two more. more. About we just I would love for it to be the might <gasps> track. And then I'm fighting. And then I'm fighting. <laughs> and then I'm fighting. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, uh, to join. I would love to join. I'm going to join. Hop, oh, hop, skip, 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 have to watch. Yeah, we'll screw you. Done it. You got a you one. Got a one. <laughs> what did the pie? So roll that. So you got a one. Roll two did now for the want to play Raiders. Diplomacy before this? No. No, no I don't think so. <sighs> so a four. Yep. So me and you have to be targeting. Fours. Uh, don't forget you have targeting down there. Four and two. Please give me another point. Mm. So you got a. This, oh, you have six and a five. A six, oh, five. Nice, so I made it. Four, three, and I can reroll. I don't one. even know Is if I'm gonna make it. There? I mean, hopefully. Two. two. Six, five, so four. I have a. Three, I have two. targeting two, so I get to reroll one. So six, five. I got a six, five, five four, four three. three. And I have a two. And then. Oh, and I can't reroll that, and I can't add anything. That's unfortunate. I have it, right? So I have like, a six, five, four, three, two, and he has a six, five, four, three. I'm going to get a damage, unfortunately. What do I get for taking him out? You just. You go up one. And you get a supremacy. Have a card? Yes, you may. Devin doesn't go anywhere, he's just damaged. <laughs> hey, but it was fun to pretend. I wanted to have fun with that. I had fun. I had fun. I had fun. Alright, Devin, your turn. Well, Did I you also get your tactical ops for going in the scrapyard? You, sir? Oh, I also yeah, should have Yeah, no, I point my own resource. I made it to 50. Yeah. Guys, I made it to 50. Ding. Nice. All right, Jesse brought us to the end game. I wasn't ready for it, but I honestly knew for a while now that I was not going to be ready for it. It's always that coulda, woulda, shoulda been, couple more turns, and to be honest, I'm just not good at this game, so 
Let's go to the end game. Of course he triggers it before I'm ready, but I have a backup plan. I always do. I think three turns in advance, unlike Devin. One thing you don't want to see when you're kind of stressing about that end is someone who's playing yellow card after yellow card, these tactics cards, which advance the clock. And then I look over and that's exactly what Jesse's doing. He's almost at 50 points, which for this game was our end game trigger. And then he goes for scientific discoveries. What is he looking for? He's looking for a discovery that will advance his civilization to the end game. And he just misses, which gave me a breath of fresh air like I had time. And then he plays a card to just hit it anyway. And with that, we only have one turn to go. I think I'm in trouble. Congratulations. We have an event now. Yeah. Oh, Let's yes. See what the event is. Please, science. Now, when the, when the event science. it's involved in the same turn, but basically now that we've reached this point, no more events. No more. Science. What's the event? Galactic Renaissance Civilization. Uh, now we're talking. No. I scored nine minus one. I scored eight points. Oh, right, because it's dumb too. I score a full 10, so I jump up to 40. Why do you score 10? You're scoring Civ. You don't, yeah, you don't score 10. The blue. You're... Is it not that one? Oh, oh, I was no, looking at the green one. Yeah. It's this one. No, you score 5. 5. Oh, bummer. Minus whatever damage you have. He has no, one hit. Yeah, he has you do. one damage. So do you count four, damage on ships yeah. instead of no, modules? Just oh, modules. no. Uh, okay, that, yeah, was Oh, I think I missed sense. that at one point. I counted. You're scoring what over there? So I'm scoring uh, 7. I see a damage. No, yeah. one, two, Do I three, not count four, that damage ship? You don't. I should, technically have, I should technically have one more point then. Yeah, I we'll should. It to you. I should also have one more point. Yeah. Right. And what are you scoring uh, right now? Oh, I should to, also have five more points. When we put out that then. grime thing, did it have to go on a building or could it have gone module. on a ship? It has to go on a module. Fine. So four points. I should have 32 three, more points. Four, actually. I think she should have one more. Based off the calculations, I've. Now we don't do the rest of the card once we've reached the event track. We don't put out regions or. Anyways, we are now done with events. We're in end game. So it's my last turn, right? Yes. Cool beans. That's where I want to be. Mm -hmm. I was really hoping that you the could is join that fight. The question is, 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 is if I can hold it now. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It did join that fight. I don't know I about end game holding it, though. Because I'm not up these tracks as much as, you know, Shira is. Well, you're up science. Yeah. And you do have an observatory. That will help. It'll, yeah. So on my turn, that will help. Let's see. I need to be up these tracks. Before. I don't think this one works for me. I'm going to discard this to gain two. I didn't think it worked for you either, honestly. It just didn't, man. Mm. Too far away. I was looking at that. I was thinking to myself, that's not going to work for him. Whew. What are you doing? Um, I need to see if there's an available module that I want. Mm. Um, I can't even build ships. <laughs> he just... My system, my system said don't have ships. I said, yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Cool. Mm. In the appendix for dwellings, we had this um, sort of guide to like, this is an easy faction. We'll give some tips. I think for this one, we would give that tip of you know, try and go lean with your ships. And it works. Might as well if just go for that. Only right now. with the range we were playing. And if we were playing at 70, yeah, that would be in. Yeah, water. you could spend it. You could, you could, uh, yeah. You have to time it right. No, I'm just gonna buy this mod. Well, actually, seeing that not do as well. It's mm -hmm. interesting that in person it's doing so just that actually fine. Me more I don't know if it's because people can't sort of get the spatial relationship Deep, of just so having two points one and dealing with versus it. Because you're looking at this big board, maybe. One point plus four points. So and that makes in more sense. Online well, it's interesting because it's it's two, like you one, have two, an additional no. ship. You have the yeah. ghost ship. You just yeah. have to know how to take advantage of it. Right. I'm getting an available module. I'm gonna get this end game one communications interface. Okay. You go up that track when you get a module. Yep. Um, and then, now I'm gonna actually take my turn and I'm going to go ahead and put that there. You're building something. I'm building an obelisk. Wow. Which makes sense right now. Me. That's gonna put them in the running for sure. One, two, three, four. Nice. I wasn't gonna build a spire because it sounded too intentional in trying to win. And then I realized that if I didn't take into account trying to win a little bit, I might lose to Peter. And that was the only objective I had for the game, was to not lose to him. So, I had to build an obelisk. And that's gonna give me one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Because the leader in the obelisk does count. It's not too bad. Six. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm really worried about. And he's level two there. I think I'm gonna be last place in this. That's game. all I cared what? about. I didn't How care about winning. I just cared about happen? not being in last <laughs> he place. He said that How? numerous times. I did say that, didn't I? Yeah. Now, so I do get Brad, this one right. Brad has joked online. He's like, "Do you even know how to play this game?" And I swear, I do know how to mm -hmm. play. I just mm -hmm. beat a bunch of people at Gen Con. Mm -hmm. I swear, I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no one's gonna. All right, me. we all believe you. This is gonna be. This video <laughs> will my, be some evidence. But mm -hmm. I'll be back. Is it my turn? Crackle yeah. will be done? covering yeah. the more advanced. You're saying yes, yeah. but you're yeah. not. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. He's done. I'm pulling back my two ships. Just redeem yourself. I'm triggering yeah. stuff. Just to redeem this play. I'm turning this over. Grabbing four energy. Does energy do anything for me at the end of the game? It doesn't. Only if right. you have the vault and you have uh, something that scores your resources. Yeah, I don't have that at all. The vault would have been great four. for me um, uh, earlier. Mm. One, two, three, four. And now I am putting this ship for me. over here, which will allow me to repair this. What do you have to repair the do the 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 meat, the little meat thing? What do you have to repair it with? Titanium. Titanium for mm -hmm. two points. Can I please have two points? I'd rather not. I'm slotting in my moon over here. This is gonna be close. For not for me, but for all three Can I of you. Can I please have two points? Look at that. Um, oh, I gotta figure out how to points. I'm putting this here to get a coin. And now I'm using this to just trigger the row. I'm triggering this to grab me two more. I love seeing people get their engines all up. I'm doing running. this mm -hmm. to grab me two ice. And a titanium. Oh, because you have vault stuff. I'm nice. doing. She's stocking up. I already did this. Which, can I have a card, vault. please? Yeah, that also counts for the vault. So this is a day. The, the um, Arcanoan ship rights in a real good position to. Um, cards, are, cards are. Cards are. Cards are. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah that's my resources. They count. Um, and then. So I grab the two ice, I grab the titanium, I grab these two energy, and I grab that card from that row, and then I'm putting this down here. Can I please have a point? Mm -hmm. I get um, nanocarbon. Did you pay that? To... Is this the part where you cut uh, when you the put video? the video? I think it's your little win, that. like yeah. right here. Yep. Um, triggering these well. without yeah. a moon doesn't do anything, correct? Right, you need moons okay. in there to yeah. work them. That's it. So then that's it, and then these go Those away. Those go away. Good turn. Good last turn. Nice. I wish I had oh, a good last man. turn. It's uh, I don't. It's have your a good last, last turn. turn because I'm coming out. I can't go occupied in all of the modules. Why don't you just occupied. go attack? I can't go occupied. Why don't you attack me? I can't go occupied. But what if you attacked? But you know, I think a lot of the ice pirates come at me though. I think so. What if he attacked? I'm gonna let the ice pirates come at me. Come at me, bro. Yeah. Now, if I do this in a way, they're not gonna come. If I try and rescue these, they're not gonna come at that one because they're they're too. You far know, away. I know that I haven't played in a way that's gonna make me even close to winning, but I've thoroughly enjoyed these. <laughs> just attack everybody. <laughs> Would you put me in the nebula right above the ice pirates uh, with the two carbon? I'll take that, please. No. I'm going there, there's no reason to look at the events. I want the ice pirates to take me out in the nebula for a proper death in, in space. You don't you don't want to be shamed by going into the award ceremony with the rest of us? How many dice are they rolling? <laughs> right. Uh, bef I'm going to play a diplomacy card, sizing them up. I'm going to analyze their ship and it says at the end of diplomacy draw three tactics cards. Nice. Maybe there's a Hail Mary in here, I don't know. Maybe I can beat the ice pirates, we'll see. Um, let's play Clever Positioning. Oh, I can't play two tech diplomacy on the ones this one. I have a, I have a question for you. Yeah. Does ignoring the usual requirements yeah. include the Ice Pirates Freeze? Sure. Okay. Well then I'm gonna play Gravity Well and move Hi. one of my ships from one region to another within range. Oh great. And pay to jump the guy over here. Oh, I'm gonna join this uh, nebula death that you oh, got going fun. on. I'm rolling for the ice pirates. Wait, so. wait, wait, I got more things to do. <laughs> well, first we're gonna play Forgotten Moon. We're I just thought, a moon I thought people the needed pile. I thought people needed to witness this death, you know. And I'm gonna take something with two resources on it. I can't figure out how to get more points. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you, not have Shira triggered an going, end game. She was gonna fly ahead of you at the end of this. Not have triggered end game when you, you did. You would have triggered end game. 
Yeah, but then was, I would no, have had another it turn. It was time for me to trigger endgame. Yes, that's the issue. No. It was time for me to trigger endgame. The question is now. If I'm lucky enough, I might be able to get close to you. But um, it'll be tough. But I might be able to because I'm so far ahead of you on a couple different tracks. Well, no, I but you're sure way harder. This card before. That kind of cancels. I have a way to basically move us from this nebula to another region, but not to get my leaders, which would be points. So that's all we're gonna do. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna be the only one with a six. That's what's gonna happen. I believe you. Four dice. Ice. ice pirates roll four dice. There we go. Yeah. Six six five two. Oh, so <laughs> God, can you stop? No, I have enjoyed okay. that. Do I get any rerolls? <laughs> Here, do you six, want some of these? Two. I would love those. Mm. Hey, I. Five, four, three, two. I beat that person. <laughs> Damn. I go to Mitch. the. Uh, I do get a tag Paris card. I am going to get a tactics card as well, and I need it to be good. It's not. Sadly, this time it is. Oh, that's a super cool one. Jesse, you get the last turn. That's a lot, right? Wow. Do you get a tactics oh, card if you lose a battle? In. Or whatever you, you trigger. If you lose a battle, it's whatever you choose out of these. It's either of these two. Yes, there's mm -hmm. a there's a mm -hmm. slash I there. I see the slash now. You've been getting the point. You've been relishing that resources. point. <laughs> you don't get to say, I get five tactics cards now. Actually, based off calculations, I think I actually shorted myself of about 18 damage points. So you'll be all right. No, I literally remember like calculating You'll damage right. and having yeah. damage on my yeah. ship yeah. two different times, and I was like, two um, events. down points. What are you gonna do on your last turn, Boo? <sighs> you can only do. move one ship out. This is a bummer. The Macrofish is a bummer right there. You didn't have a way to fix it. I didn't. Didn't pull that repair out of all of those tactics cards, which really is... That's about a six point. Did I have to have built a ship on my turn? How much does it cost? Card? Yeah, you have to have built a ship. The, the card that said... Yeah, build a ship. <laughs> yeah, okay. build a ship means build a <coughs> ship. You can't use your dopey ghost thing. Ghost ship. Wondering, wondering if I had to build a ship, you know? Would have liked to go ship at this point. Good ending, yeah. better go Good ship. Good ending, yeah. What are you doing on your last turn? Is your turn done, Peter? It is done. Okay. My last turn as the Jesse crowd. Anderson. People. End this game. Now, if anyone would like to see the uh, art for the Cloud People and some of the other cool factions we're making, go on to that Game Found page where we're doing notifications. Oh, that's cool. In September, we're also going to launch these fun puzzles to win something before the campaign. And there's going to be promos. There's a lot of fun things to check out. Ice Pirates are going to move in. That's fine. I just saw the art for also the, the Pulse War refugees. Plenty. You're okay. going to want to see that. I'll uh, go for the Ice Pirates. Thank well, you, Sergio I'm Chavez, just go ahead and for buy all of the art for this game. Module for two ice, which will Take move me up, up one. by one. That's kind of the point of that. Ice Pirates, go ahead and roll. Five. Six, six, yep. four. Can, wow, what's wrong man, with you? Man. Get a uh, you don't need to roll those dice anymore. That's an additional ridiculous. point, please. Yeah. And that is the crescendo. Okay, now let's score this up. Let's start okay. with Shira. No. No, no, we <laughs> start with the first one. Okay. tracks, okay? And we can just, you just take each person and go by tracks. So Shira doesn't have any damage. No damage. Well, we don't do we're damage doing, right now, tracks. we do tracks. Five. Oh, these don't, these don't worry about damage? Right. So okay. you just take all of her numbers Five. and add them up. Don't pull, don't pull, don't pull them pull off. Those off. Five, 15, 10. 22, 27, 36. 36, okay, one, two, three, so four, five, 88. Six. Eight thing. Okay. Let's do orange then. So orange gets so much less six, than last game. 11, 21, 27, 37. Okay. Seven. One gain on Shira. So there we oh, go. 78. Mm -hmm. pink, pink gets 15, 13. 18. What? Pink is 5 Sorry, and 8. Is 13, 13, 16, uh, 28 plus 6, 34. Two drop on Four. Shira. So 93. Oh. Now I'm bringing up the rear. Let's see what I get for my score. 19 plus 3 is. 22 plus 11 is 33. Three, so 74. Three. There we go. Okay. Now, we're going to score developments next. First, we score cities because that's the far left. We'll start there. There is one city in Pink. this game owned by. The Me. Darkstar Acolytes. Now you reached level one, so that's a five-point city. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. 
spaceports. We've got a level two spaceport owned by the Archimedes. That's going to be seven points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. No more spaceports. We now move on to her vault. Is going to crush you. We have an obelisk owned by the Zodian Warmongers. That is a level You're the two Warmongers. obelisk. Yeah. I have level two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll level one from yeah. Shira. So it's five? So it's a five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we move on to observatories. We've got one over here by the Dark Stars. Yep. Now that is a level two. So seven points. Yep. 105. And finally, we've got a factory. Is anyone? No one's built a factory. Yeah, there is one. Oh, right there's one here. No, no that's a city. We don't oh, that's have a, a factory. Yeah. Oh, you've calculated both of yours. Okay. I've built no developments. What do you think the chances <laughs> that I'm going to take this game no. down? Now we move on to the sad trombone of damage. Oh, if you have any damage oh, on your models, so what do you lose? You lose two <clears throat> points for each damage. No damage. That was his little furry. Uh, Meat thing that like slipped onto his boat before, last minute. Okay. Before now we then, do vault, do we do these? No. The next stage oh, okay. is the vault bonus, okay. which Shira and I both have. Nice. So you, we each reach vault one, which is one point for all our resources. This is pretty impressive over there. I have a small so vault, so I'm gonna take it. Seventeen points. Please. Oh my gosh! Seventeen. 17. 17. Oh man, it's the resources. A track that I didn't even explore or go up. And I'm going to be honest, I was actually really proud of myself for how efficiently I used the little bit of resources that I had. I put everything to work, manipulating them, twisting them, buying into tracks that I didn't honestly need, but just because I had the extra supply. And here she is with seventeen victory points because she is uh, wasteful. Good example, Shira. Good example for the galaxy. I have a one, two, three, four. And that's this five, thing here. Six, seven, eight, mm -hmm. nine, I have an 11, 12 point ball. So that's 84. So, eight, yes. That's so you're 72 72 to 82 to 84. 12 point ball. Ooh. 12 point ball. <laughs> you next might up, not beat him in the end. No, I think, next up, I think he's got it. So next up, we do civilization modules with end game bonuses. Which is what he's if, got. If so I'm I, damaged, I get four. It's for not mine. damage. Now Three. mine is, which would have been six, by the way. This would have been the moment I leapt over, but I couldn't remember. Yours is damaged. It is damaged, sadly. Now you score any leaders on your station that did not make it into Andromeda. Four, please. Four, one, two, three. Just one four. for me. Oh, Shira's one. crushed me. And then I get that vault one, Shira. two. Yeah. And I get one, two, three. My damage module is what would have done it, sir. Because now there's faction bonuses. So wait, 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 wait. Did you say what? What's the result of you having a damage module? What place well, did you get in? What I'm saying is that. But like, what place did you get in I'm because in, of the damage module? I'm in not the best. <laughs> <laughs> And if you have a faction bonus, <laughs> Which oh, what do you know? Wait, let me write in a new bonus <laughs> as a developer. Of the game. So this is the second full playthrough. I have won neither of them, nor have I lost fully in last place either of them. I really, really like what's going on here. There are so many ways to explore this game. Dwellings of Eldervale is just one of my favorite experiences from the last few years, and this honestly takes its place beside it in such a special way. I really like what's going on. I really like all of the ways in which I feel like every player has completely found their own tactic, their own strategy across both gameplays that have not really looked similar. And I have, I, I love that freedom. I love that exploration. This is something that I cannot wait to see again. I can't wait to see what the new production level is going to be for the prototype. I can't wait for the campaign. I'm a fan. Luke Laurie and Peter Vaughn, they, they've they got my seal of approval, you know, check. I'm, I'm behind them 100% on this. This is awesome. I was trying to get my yeah. seven. We'll I was trying points. to get my seven points by building all my ships, and I needed oh the game to be a little longer. That's with my faction. You need to have a little bit of a longer game. Yeah, because you did terribly. Terrible. Um, if congratulations, the Her 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 that was, hey, how much we was said vault was it? That was, yeah, seven, they they can't win. That was, <laughs> that was the that difference. Was the difference right there. She had a vault. I told you at the beginning, Shira was my biggest threat, and I'm really thrilled that she actually won this game. I feel like I played a good game. 
but I don't feel like I really played my best. It was the first game that I ever played, the first few turns I was getting my feet in and figuring out how the systems and engines work, and I can't wait to dive back in. But the fact that she was able to close it, the fact that her economy worked better, she played a better game than me. I was honestly going to be a little bit shocked and a little bit disappointed if someone didn't close that distance. Second place so far of Andromeda's Edge, and I am really enjoying the engine building. I think that is my favorite part. I like the mechanic of tableau building. I like resource management. I like area control. I like fighting. I like everything that it is having to offer. I like how tight it feels. I like when someone else is taking what I want. I get upset. I like the dice rolls that add a little bit of randomness, but not too much. This was fantastic, and it's just getting better with every single play. <laughs> now, in this game, the vault or the developments or the tracks, they could all do that, well, that last little push. Very nicely done. Everyone, this was a really impressive uh, game of this, and Woo. really showed everybody what's possible. We all did different things. I I don't very don't simple follow simple my things. Forward. Do you like yeah. this more than uh, the You did. You had that. This, this is a really yeah. solid thing. You were trying to end it fast. Yeah. You built right away. I, I, you didn't go up tracks, but that was because you were trying to say, let's let's get this done. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more pushing on this, because you, you had that moment where if you had discovered that yeah. five-pointer, yeah. you would have said it's over right yeah. then. So final thoughts? The final thoughts aren't complicated. One, I like this more than I like dwellings. It's a combination of the theme and the mechanics, but there's this element of the engine just feeling a bit more rewarding. The randomness not feeling quite as chaotic, and honestly, for myself, I like the complexity of when you pull back and you can activate everything on your board. I know I didn't do it a lot of my turn, but watching Devin cycle through piles and piles of cards, watching Shira really get resources when she pulled back all of her ships, those moments are so cool. And while they're not as fun if you're observing, they're so much fun when you do them. This is absolutely fantastic, and it's still development development, development. This is a pre-pre-production. I cannot wait to see it with the art and the miniatures and the everything that Cardboard Alchemy tends to put in. In Andromeda's Edge, we're going to have so many exciting things to share with you. Things are going to vary up this game. Not only do you have a ton of factions to play, which changes the way you want to play the game, there's different ship upgrades, there's different modules, there's different event decks, there's different raiders, there's different tactics cards. There's different regions. This thing is a beast. No game's going to play the same way. And it's a really exciting game to try lots of new things. I think Jesse had a fantastic strategy of like rushing towards his loss. I thought it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was time for me to close it. The, the, difference, the difference came down to the resources from Shears. That vault killed it. Yeah, that yeah. was huge. Which I knew, no matter what you did, my last action was going to be to pull back and trigger my engine resources because this was yeah. two, I, I had three, no, four, five, six. Because I had limited nine, ships, seven, eight, I had no module to actually nine pull points. resources back. Yeah. Yeah. Despite yeah. the fact of owning stuff, I was spending all my ships down here. Now there was, if I'd given myself two cycles, there was a chance of maybe building another location. Another one. Oh, I was planning to build a city example, right here. Yeah, I was planning on building a city but it, right but here. But I didn't see the math where, like, the gamble between two more rounds where Sheer and Devin get to, and she two would have triggered stuff. endgame on hers. Yeah. So. I needed two more moons. I was hoping yeah. to get two more moons to put here and here, which mm. would have been another two points. Yeah, I mean, points. you give me two turns, I build a development yeah. and fix this. That's I mean, true. seriously. Yeah, you been, I, I, I don't games. think I would have done better unless we had done a, I don't think a 60 would have helped me. I think a 70 game is where because like I only I only returned ship once. Yeah. Sure. And I when I did it it was very people, effective. You you need to play it with longer because I built every single time I, I came agree. back I mean, I here. Like and well, this I is still the entry I still had yeah. three more ships to build. You know how how long did this one go? Two hours and some? Uh, right at two. Yeah. yeah. So we we like that for the start of the beginning. Yeah. I think yeah. a lot of people will say I want to I want to dive. I wouldn't further. mind playing longer, but the game I played was built around the yes. knowledge of where. So yeah, when you start, was. everyone's got to say. I this is what we're I would have paired. I would have approached my 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 mechanics I did want very more differently. Time. Mm. Um, no, really. Like I, I saw yeah. how quick a fifty game ended. Yeah. Especially with something like building building strategic monuments. Yes. You can you can wipe out half your half your your track yeah. in two builds. Yeah. I mean, my development so, got me eighteen points. And yeah, then my the objective was, was like I played a points rush game everywhere. Against, so the other day I saw Luke go into commerce, and I knew if he got to that vault I was in trouble. So I rushed the end game. I mm. pushed 
not only developments but also events to try and mm. get us there because I knew I could catch him off guard and it worked. So you do have to adapt, just like in dwellings, you have to adapt to what everyone's doing. Yeah. I think we couldn't stop Devin. He was too. He was obviously punching around all over <laughs> the place. But if we let, but you have to, you have to move out of the way if it's mm -hmm. time to move out of the way, or you got to jump right into where someone wants to build it. That's what's needed. Devin messed me up. A few, like gently messed me up a few times with things like attacking me here. I would have been able to build there earlier, which would have right. had me one round faster. Oh, I mean, I, I was going to attack you here if you had not have built. Never. I was going to knock yeah. that out. But again. so, like, I was good with my ghost ship in terms of being able to trigger builds. But like, that would have been nice for me because it would have had me a whole round earlier for a build and an extra like five points from that. Yeah. Once you triggered that so, five, that ten point build, I was like, I gotta do that yeah. ten point build. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. that very first build that he yeah. did, I was, was like, like, oh, oh I, I'm going to lose this game. Bye. I actually really like the ghost ship faction because every time I used my ghost oh. ship, it was the best moment of my game. I should have It was that, usually right? triggering a really essential <laughs> one more point. thing here and then pulling stuff back, which was really nice. So <laughs> there's a lot to like. That's a great to hear because actually that faction, we were worried that in a four-player game, yeah. there wouldn't be enough places. Yeah. No, I, I, I really liked it. If Devin had only targeted me, I could have been kicked out of the game very easily because of that. But but honestly... I tried to evenly hit all of you. The cycle, the cycle was all right. All right. We could talk about this for way too long. I'm sure we will continue doing so. We're going to be getting a few more gameplays in. And like you said during the gameplay, this is the pre-prototype to the prototype that's mm -hmm. on the way. And it sounds like he's interested in another match. It's kind of a big deal to put Andromeda's Edge out at this stage. Brad and I are developing this game with Luke. We've got our team working, all the modelers, illustrators, graphic designers. It's, a, it's in a raw stage, but we wanted to bring it here. And it's so exciting for me to look at three players take on this in-progress thing play the heck out of it, crush me in the process, and prove to me this game is going to be amazing. This is the unpolished version of this game, and we're excited to share that with you and share all of the cool stuff as we go to GameFound. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next time. Please check us out on GameFound. Follow uh, for our January launch of Andromeda's Edge. There's only up Bye. for you from here. From here, there's only up for you. Right. Like I you can't do worse than this. <laughs> <laughs> nice. right. See you later. Bye.